Welcome to Forehead Fables podcast. We got another guest two in one month. That's a record. Uh, that's of a record. Some sort. Yeah. yeah, that's like yeah. we've been listening a little bit to audience feedback. <laughs> Is and, that what they were uh, saying? Yeah, they were like, you guys suck. You guys need like some, <laughs> you need somebody else. You to- need some people out there with life experience on the goddamn <laughs> podcast. You have something to talk about. Yeah. And so I went out and I found the guy with the most life experience out there. We got Wrangler Star. So what's the problem? I, I understand I was a gamer back in the day. I told Jack, I said, no one is allowed to go anywhere. Limb articulators are located at the top. I would recommend 62 grain green tip. We will be getting the hand pump going today. You can simply slide your phone in here. No one will be able to track you. Okay, I can see my hole. I, uh, I'm not circumcised. Oh yeah. The quintessential, uh, like homesteading channel out there. Best YouTube shorts in the game. And then I've noticed very recently there's been maybe a slight turn towards, I don't want to say paranoia, but <laughs> a little bit of like prepper, a little prepper kind of vibe. Well, you know, times are changing, Sam. It's a dangerous yeah. world out there. You know, I've got I, to tell you, my, my son, who's uh, 18, uh, big fan of your channel. And when you first reached out to me, I sent him an email. I said, you're never going to guess who invited me to his podcast. <laughs> I said, General Sam. I heard his door slam and run down the stairs. He said, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> really? He said, that's the most inappropriate collaboration I've ever seen. I know. That's why it's funny. Yeah, that's why yeah. it's good. There's nothing worse than getting uh, like people that are in your exact same vein on your podcast. You know, because yes. it's just you're yeah. like having a conversation with yourself almost. Yeah. But um, I, I did see one of the funniest, like n- not primed. I wasn't just in that frame of mind. I was like playing with my kids, having fun with the family and stuff. And then um, and then I was like, you know, I'm going to look at some Wrangle Star shorts. Just see what this guy's up to. And you're holding up like a, a diagram of a Boston Dynamics robo dog <laughs> and you're pointing out like the weak points on it. And you're like, you're going to want to shoot this thing right here. This is where the CPU is in the RAM and everything. You know, they're going to turn on us. Oh, yeah. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. We'll be we'll be bowing at their feet at their little robo feet. It's like so- the, soldier, the soldiers, they used to make them dig their own grave and to shoot them and knock them in it like they're going to turn those things in that we paid for. I don't like how Boston Dynamics is training them to like do somersaults and jump up stuff. That's yeah, kind of, shit. yeah. yeah. They're, they're, doors. You can see that can iPad that that Holt picks up the refrigerator and does backflips. Yeah, like <laughs> and and like goes up scaffolding and stuff. Like just keep it on flat ground, like f- warehouse floors. It doesn't Take need to wheels. be able. It doesn't need to be able to scale up stuff with heavy yeah, loads. I don't think. Off switch on it like Data has. Yeah, something cool like that. But yeah. big red button on its forehead. That'd be an easier <laughs> shot. Yeah. yeah, I think some sort of kill switch built into. <laughs> yeah, but and uh, so you do think there's going to be? I will admit times are changing pretty, pretty rapidly. Do you think there's singularity there's some sort of, point? You know, not so much. You know, a lot of that, Sam, is kind of tongue in cheek. It, it, what it is, what I try and trying to accomplish, that, that's not like s- serious technical information. Obviously, if you wanted to stop one of those things, you know, it's not going to be hard to figure out. But it's you hit it with a car kind of just to w- wake people up to, you know, what's going on. And you know what? The, the government isn't always pr- completely benevolent and always looking out for you. And just to kind of wake people up to get ready and have a few things in order. You know, I'm not a crazy survivalist or anything, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have, uh, you know, three months of food, maybe a way to deal with filtering some water. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have a way to protect your family and those sorts of things. So that's really what I'm about. You know, we got to live too. Some of these guys online are just so fanatical that they don't even, can't even enjoy their kids or their family because all they're worried about is, oh, I don't have enough beans and I don't have enough bullets and this and that. You know, guys got to live as well, but, you know, be aware of what's going yeah. on. It could be natural disaster. Could be a lot of different things. You know, we live out here with all the, you know volcanoes and such. So just kind of waking people up to you know the life's the world's a dangerous place. You know, I was thinking like everybody's acting like there's going to be some sort of race war or something, or like some sort of like Republicans versus Democrats war. I think all that's going to blow over the second uh, th- there's a shortage of water. I think water is going to be the one. <laughs> That's going to be the one. 
A water war? Yeah, no, I, I, I the Colorado River's like drying up, dude. That mm-hmm. thing used to like end in Mexico, and now those Mexican farmers are like digging down in the in like the riverbed trying to find like little driblets of water down yeah, there. Yeah, you've seen the Euphrates. Yeah, Euphrates is drying up. Uh, the big salt lake uh, in Utah, it's like a fraction of what it used to be. Yeah, water's gonna, water's going to be the battleground in the future. That really, that's something that we've always had. It's, I mean, it's crazy in this country. We actually purify water for flushing a toilet. Yeah, you know, we actually we do that, and that, that that's going to change. I think you're absolutely right. That's that's the biggest concern of mine. Because how many days can you go without water? You know, you know I should. I should find a, a plot of land somewhere in a, a good water rich environment. Spring. Yeah, like spring. I don't know, like Maine or something. I don't know. Maine has a lot of springs going It'd be on really, up there. Really easy to get there in a in a water war scenario. Yeah, I, I start Florida. hiking. I start hiking oh, okay. north. Oh, yeah, we yeah. made it pretty far. I'll make yeah. it pretty far. Uh, all I have to do is walk through Atlanta. Get kind of thirsty on the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll stop by the Coca Cola factory and pick up a twenty four pack as oh, I'm walking perfect. through post apocalyptic. She's Atlanta. describing Left for Dead. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. I'm gonna do the Walking mm-hmm. Dead. Yeah. You need I'll to nail north. down that Coke sponsorship, Sam. Then you can buy yourself a nice little place. <laughs> yeah, up what north. The fuck? Well, I don't want to like I don't want anybody to see this, but I am cheating a little bit. Is Diet Dr Pepper? Mm. Oh my god! Yeah, a uh, pretty solid alternative to Diet Coke. I'm not gonna lie, I got that COVID, and after that, it like messed with my taste buds. I don't want Big Coke to hear this or anything, but it's been tasting different ever since. Oh man, it's my just taste like FCD now or something. Yeah, it came. My taste came back, and I was a, is awoken. This Coke Zero. Yeah, I was like, oh. "What's wrong with this? It doesn't taste like delicious aspartame like it used to." Kind of messed <laughs> up. But, yeah. So, do you carry? Oh, you, absolutely. You every don't? day. No, I, I don't leave the house. Yeah, I don't leave. I actually, I, no, I'm not every day. I don't leave the house either. I, I got this. Uh, I got this trusty 22. That's my yeah, uh, home it. defense. Yeah, no, I figure yeah. if I if I shoot them once in each eyeball or something, <laughs> or like aim for the yeah, jugular, it'd slow me down. Yeah, I what think if someone a- shot me right in the pelvis with a twenty two, I would turn <laughs> around and walk oh. out. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> I would. That's what you should do for your next YouTube short. Is just see at what caliber bullet does someone just turn around and walk out <laughs> without killing them. Yeah. Dude, have, you, have you seen some of those old body armor videos where the guys tested it themselves and had their buddy come up and shoot him in the chest with it? I yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, I've seen the bloopers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've also seen the ladies like the Instagram models sitting there like on their phone just in, like taking selfies, and there's just a guy unloading on the bulletproof window with an AK, and it's <laughs> like it's just like a marketing video of like yeah. this right. is how safe it is. Yeah, right. But, yeah. So you're. Where are you allowed to disclose exactly where you are? Like cheap. Well, uh, Washington State. Yeah, so we're up Washington State. So just uh, in in the southern part of the state, up on the eastern slope of the Cascade Range. Mm. You got a lot of a lot of. Those are mountains, to you, Sam. You probably don't mm. mountains. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're, but they're like they're like hills. You know, I know I lived in Florida for a year. Really, I did. Best year I, of your life. Where where were we at? I lived on Sanibel Island, South Beach. I know Sanibel, yeah. And uh, yeah. South Beach for a while. I was down in the Key West. I, w- I was I had a job working as a construction superintendent, so I traveled around there a little bit. But what a hell really? hole. Yeah. Uh, Key West is... Uh, actually, I feel like there's weird parallels between Key West and then kind of where you are. Like, in terms of just, like, uh, like the hippies and the people sleeping on the street. Oh, yeah. So I was there... <laughs> I was in Key West right after Hurricane Andrew, and as if they didn't drink enough down there, Budweiser brought down a free beer truck, and they held this big party called a Hurricane Survivor Party. You should have seen it the next day. I mean, it, the beach was littered with people. They were on the benches, passed out. See, in Florida, you can get drunk and not make it home and just lay in the grass and survive because of the climate. You know, you yeah, yeah. freeze to death up here. Yeah, that rocks. I should start uh, like touring <laughs> hurricane sites. Get free yeah, beer. Should, oh, yeah, nice. Imagine like, the people that like lost a loved though. one, and then they yeah. see the hurricane survivor party, yeah. and everybody drinking, yeah. and they're like <laughs> mourning the death of their husband that got sucked oh. out a window or something. We yeah, did just it. imagine free <laughs> beer to Key West people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, dehydrate. There's like no sustainable water or anything. Like after a hurricane comes, usually the water is like tainted or whatever. That's why they tell you to fill up your bathtubs. 
It was crazy down there. There were airplanes upside down. Um, there's a, trailers, boats everywhere, boats on roofs. Unbelievable. I think, dude, honestly, I think you said Hurricane Andrew, right? I think it was Andrew. Yeah. Wasn't that in like the 90s, early 90s? I'm not, I'm old, man. <laughs> Jesus. Been around. That's why you're interviewing me. I got life I, experience. Yeah. yeah. I, I grew up hearing legends of Hurricane Andrew because my, my uncle put together like, a roofing business that sustained the family for 10 years based off of Andrew. They would go around just knocking door to door. They're like, you know, the insurance company, uh, I see you have like one shingle missing. They'll probably replace your whole roof if you let us do it. And they would just, especially if we crawl up there and pull a few more out. Yeah. We go up there and beat it with a hammer or something. Make it seem like there's hail damage or something. And, uh, and yeah, they, they just replaced a bunch of roofs in town. Cause we we're like not, at, we're, we're too far inland to actually have like houses, you know, blown away. But what we have is a lot of live oak trees and the trees just end up falling on top of houses yeah. or branches beat them up or whatever. So you could actually not have that much damage to a house and get a whole new roof, which is pretty badass. But that's why insurance companies suck here, dude. You can't like, <laughs> like I don't know if you guys have tried to get homeowners insurance in a hurricane place, but it's rough. No. Yeah. 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 I get I involved have. in insurance. Don't worry about that shit. Yeah, Volcano but insurance, that's scary. I mean, that's just a scary, <laughs> yeah. scary, scary title right there. I, yeah. I feel like it's, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I'm realizing how wildly I am prepared, unprepared I am just as you talk. Like, how, how much water do I have? I've got a Brita, you know, I've got, yeah, I got a water that'll bottle. sustain you for a while. Yeah, yeah. I've got well, some beer, I don't know, maybe <laughs> siphon it out or something. Abby told me I should drink oh one God. of these a day, into the water. Yeah, and I've put in work. Well, I no, I that. realized I, I like could I could actually use this, spread it out over about five days. Yeah. And so <laughs> if I fill if I fill this up and society collapses, why is your why is the water dark? It looks like it's dark. it's not dark. It's not clear. It just gets darker towards the bottom for because uh, that's okay. the style of the water bottle. But I figure if I fill this up and then society or collapses, I, that's that's, that's a week gut. right there. It's a week of water. water. Yeah. Have you ever checked? The, what, yeah. Is Abby just telling you that it gets darker at the bottom? Like I think something's settling <laughs> yeah, in there. Like wrap. Fucking poison? Uh, no, talked I talked about her poisoning you. Yeah, before. I don't think she would poison me. I don't. Think. You might want to run that through a Brita, Sam. Yeah, yeah I might yeah. need to. Yeah, <laughs> double yeah, filter two, your water two, from Abby. Two, two Britas, yeah. double filter. Yeah. So I, I know Sam, you've been of a, you've got your ear to the ground. What, what preparations have you made down there in Florida? Um, I, I've made two kids, so I got <laughs> rations. You know, <laughs> first first week or two, I got something to eat. Uh, then after that, uh, have you ever seen that movie 28 weeks later? Oh, it's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that beginning scene where the husband just abandons his family and runs <laughs> across the field with the zombies following him. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's going to look a lot like that. Cause honestly yeah. that guy was set up. He had a nice job and everything. They find him later in the movie and, uh, his life is awesome. And then, after. um, and then he dies towards the end because uh, his family uh, actually lived. That's the horrific part is that his yeah. family lived uh, the whole thing. And they, they find well, him again and kill him. You can learn his mistakes, Sam. Yeah, you got to make <laughs> sure they're uh, gone. It's they yeah. found him and killed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, like, good yeah. lesson in there. In yeah, movie. he should have. He like takes one last look at his wife and then like a zombie's lager. there and then he, he runs. But he should have waited to make that, sure. That's what the, yeah, yeah, the 22's for a yeah. quick ankle shot. You know, make sure. <laughs> one hand rifle or foot <laughs> and then run. And what the hell are you doing? Yeah. No, I um honestly, sure. I my house I got a uh, not much to be honest. I got like firearms. That's Booby about it. Traps yeah. like marbles, Mos mosquito yeah. Joe shit in the air surrounding yep. your house. Like I, a I paid a guy fence. to uh, just make the air outside just completely <laughs> inhospitable yeah. hazardous yeah. yeah he's killed off every insect bird and mammal in the the surrounding like mile radius uh so not much game to be hunted uh <laughs> yeah I, I don't really i never even really thought about it i always just kind of figured uncle sam would take care of me i think your brother would be good sport good uncle. you know you got a lot yeah. of, a couple of rations on that yeah you may have you earned that bridge though yeah, 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 man, you, yeah, might yeah. Want to, you might want his help. He seems more outdoorsy than you. He's not, dude. No, it's no. The front. He's, he's got really, a beard. He's really uh, picky. Yeah, he just uh, looks like an outdoorsy guy. He's not. Uh, yeah, I get, the, I get that. He starts crying when the, the AC turns off. And he's like, it's hot. It's too hot. Yeah. So First but, to go. Yeah, so we, we oh, have, yeah. in my audience, we have like a bunch of... Um, not, not us, of course. 
oh god we're we're manly as hell but like our audience nice. dude they're what some people might consider like pussies Elvins. inexperienced <laughs> oh, no. uh and i was gamers confused. no no gamers. i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say that because well, there's some that's there's fair some, yeah gamers probably uh yeah, gamers and um chadlets they're they're gonna Chad become chads but not yet they're little, little they're diamonds chadlings. in the rough diamonds exactly. in the rough exactly the work with that. yeah yeah. Is there yeah. is there any? Well, first I would say, like, what are like the the, what are some things that you would think a kid would need to be prepared in life early? How on? old? How old a kid? We're uh, he, demographics he here. Eighteen to twenty four years old is the bulk majority <laughs> of these people. I was gonna say like get yeah. a Game Boy, but yeah. okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wrangler Star's advice, a bag of double A batteries, a Game yeah. Boy, and a Slim Jim. That's what you need, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that's my work. You know, you don't need to be rich or you just need to be smarter than the guy that's been collecting things and you can just go take his stuff. Oh, so oh that's true. a good point. Oh, yeah. oh so like it'd be a, bad to be a collector. Oh. Yeah. So I mean they're not the gonna have any, they're not gonna have any <laughs> money anyway, so it's it's either it comes really comes down to that. Um Oh, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I like your plan, Sam, about every man for himself. So stay unattached. Uh, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't don't get married like we did. So yeah, he has a name. His kids. That, uh, that anchor dragon behind you. But <laughs> yeah. uh, I would say uh, a vehicle would be a nice thing and an option of someplace else to go. At least just a plan. Like if something happens here and everything goes sideways, you know, I, I'm either going to stay here and try to protect what I have, or I'm going to go somewhere else where I'm not going to have to deal with that. So I would say get a motorcycle, man. A oh, motorcycle. Yeah. Give you the ability, they're, too. they're, they're yeah. inexpensive. Uh, get something that's enduro that's got a plate on it that you can ride off road on road. You can get a backpack. I mean, you can go all halfway across the country on a couple gallons of gas and get into one of those for you know a couple thousand dollars. That's where I would start. Having wheels would be pretty important. Yeah, or like a audience, one wheel. Be be cooler. Or, be more yeah. badass. Get a bike. We want every yeah. single patron a to have a bike. leather jacket and a fucking Harley by but the end of wear a helmet. <laughs> Wear a Post helmet a so we can. Yeah. We, we would don't want you to and... die, so you can't. Well, or injure yourself just bucket. enough that auto pay is left on. I was about to say, and yeah, you like... are just kind of out of your faculties to cancel that. Like you're just collecting yeah. disability because you're paralyzed, and but you should <laughs> get a helmet without good crumple protection. <laughs> yeah. So when you yeah. fall, it's still just your left paraplegic or whatever. Yeah, that's uh. That'd be the best. Thing. Awesome. That would probably be the way to go. Yeah, I I think honestly, if I was to if things were to break out, I'd probably try to defend. Defend. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, I would, it's it's very wow. it's very um, romantic to think uh, I'm going to take my backpack and I'm going to go out into the woods. And you guys know exactly how difficult it is. And that's when you're planning on it. Can you imagine yeah. if you just grab something at the spur of the moment you hadn't like prepared for this? You're not going out into the wood to, woods to survive. You're not trapping animal. You're not catching yeah. fish unless, you know, you're that guy. And most people are not. I wouldn't want to do that. So yeah. I'm staying home, man. I've got my stuff here. I've got you my got, you got everything there. That's yeah. not yeah, fair. Why would, I go, why would I go anywhere? What? OK, how about this? Society's fallen, right? You're on constant alert <laughs> and you're you're always looking down that driveway with your uh, ghillie suit on and your night vision night goggles vision. and shit yeah, and yeah. You, you pull up your because you see movement you pull up your rifle scope and you see me walking down your driveway do you, do you shoot me or yeah. do you, no 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 and i and i'm rubbing my tummy i'm going man yeah, i could eat so, i could eat I, two days worth of rations let me yeah. in i'm yeah, hungry you showed, you showed you had some skills on the hiking trip now brian on the other hand <laughs> oh. <laughs> sam you can come in but only if we get to eat brian <laughs> Brian would have to bring something of value that we didn't already possess. I don't know what that'd be. But My gaming but, rig. My yeah. yeah. Game He's going to bring his, his big binder yeah. of Pokemon cards. Yes. They, yes. They're worth millions. That's they're all the top loaded. Seat. Mint yeah. condition. Oh, all yeah. the rares. Yeah. God. Do you have one of I those have... bug out bags? You're talking about just getting up and, and like leaving at a moment's notice. Do you have like just no, like a bag no. of goodies? I'm not a big fan of that, of that concept. Like you said, you know, the best thing is going to be unless you have a place to go uh, yeah. that's safe and, and provisions in a cabin. And that, that costs money. I mean, most people are not going to be able to do that. Your best bet's going to be to stay home. What I put together for for the wife and such is what is she going to need if she needs to get home? How far is she going to be? You know, she make might up. drive into Portland yeah, an hour up. and a half away. She can walk home if she has to. What's she going to need? A little fanny pack with a, a little, little fanny pack. pack. 
Yeah, and you know, yeah. tell taught her how to hot wire a boat so she can get across the rivers so that the bridges are out. You know that sort of thing. So just what are you going to need to get home is the main thing. Have you seen? Uh, have you watched The Last of Us, the new show that just came out? Any of you? No, no I, I, there's I a great episode where uh, Nick Offerman, you know, from Parks and Rec and stuff, like it, it takes place from his perspective and society's fallen. And he's the guy who's like prepared and he immediately, you know, everyone's freaking out and the government's taking people away on buses to shoot them and, you know, dump their bodies. So the infection doesn't spread. And he like immediately sets up the fences around his house. He already has water. He has all these things. And uh, I mean, it'd be a huge target. Like it shows him get like attacked by raiders once. But it's just uh, like I watching even that episode, I was like, Wow, I would be the guy being like, oh, the free bus ride? Like, oh, we're getting out of here? I'd be dead in a ditch in 10 minutes into the episode. Like, it's, uh, I don't know. You, even watching that, I'm like, oh, fuck. I, I could at least stand to have, you know, basic. Because it's like, I've got a lot of things, n none of which are practical things. For bartering. Yeah, I've got uh, bartering. That, that Vietnamese, like, shaman hat, that would, that would, oh, yeah, that go, would barter oh, for a lot. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Buddhist koozie, Buddhist koozie. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, could, uh, when it goes Mad Max... That koozie oh. is going to be worth so much. I, know, I would definitely be... have oh, trinkets yeah. for like, I could give, if there was like a local warlord or something, I could give tribute, you know, yeah. up until a point that I run out. Like a, an oracle or a seer and shit. Yeah, just, like, I could like, pretend to be a seer. And, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. uh, yeah I, I, I would find my place in the world. I'd do what it takes to survive as long as I could. Probably unorthodox and probably not efficient, but... Yeah, it's like as soon as I ran out of gas, I'm like, okay, I need to siphon gas from a car. How the hell? <laughs> like, I suck on it out of a tube. And then, you know, like, there's a lot of things where it's like, I feel like I know the first step and then would have zero idea how to no, actually, if want, like. If you want to steal gas, you, you don't mess around with that. Just take your cordless drill and just drill a little hole in the bottom of the tank and catch it with a bucket. That's, that's way great info. Yeah, 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 see, that's yeah. way better. That's way I, better. I, I don't want to get gas in my mouth. Unsiphonable anyways. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. Just, just drill yeah. a hole in the bottom. That's the way you do it. Okay. Start shooting some holes. In the yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a twenty-two, and it's plastic. Yeah. It shouldn't blow up. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a piece from my dad. I'm just gonna go out in the streets and just start <laughs> yeah. blasting car fuel tanks and collect as much gas as I can. A little Tupperware containers slide. Yeah. yeah, mag dump on the side of the car. I have just keep filling this up with gas. Yeah. <laughs> I would, uh, I've already talked about just like putting water and shit in this and drinking out of it, which you know I'll get a curse or something, but. It would be funny. It's like the least practical, like uh, an, an apocalypse. Like it's my multi-tool. It's a brass container. Like I could probably use these, these Longhorn. You know, I'd probably like. Yeah, you know the village where they wear those costumes and kind of like. Uh, oh yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I would maybe put up like a get up like that, so I could scare yeah. people out of their homes and then take their. That's a that's a good idea. I think you could be the guy getting tribute. Yeah. If yeah. you're, Pages if you find there, like. Mask. Like, because I feel like it when society falls, Wrangler Star here, he's going to make a commune. He's going to make some crazy commune out there in the woods. Like safety in numbers, Sam. Yeah, you got an assault rifle and uh, a fucking woodworking tools and some chisels. You come out to my place, and we're going to make oh. a big Robinson Crusoe wall around my property. And and they are going to be terrified of Poob out there with his Vietnamese shaman hat yeah, and his big screaming. brass my thing. horns. Yeah, my, <laughs> my brass thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would Pulling scare them. Yeah, and they would, they would throw this. scraps of venison over the wall to feed you. Get that crazy yeah. guy to go away. I no go, gun mm, needed. I'll nothing. be gone for one week. <laughs> I'll return. I'm satiated. Fill up my, uh, my canister yeah. with meat and return I mean, it to me. Even uh -oh. just then, like, my eyes got dry and I had to put contact solution in them. Like, I'd be oh, so fucked yeah, if my glasses. Yeah, I know. <laughs> first, I've, I've thought about that. Like, first thing I do, I go to my eye doctor and I shoot her and I take as many contacts <laughs> as they've got in there. I'm rating getting as many extra pairs of contacts yeah. as possible. Uh, yeah. he's he's not not even some, some emergency glasses. You know, Teddy Roosevelt, he had really bad eyesight. When he was leading men in combat, he was so concerned he was going to lose his glasses and not be able to see what was going on. He had his wife. So I think it was like 12 pockets all over his uniform where he had glasses stashed, oh, stashed everywhere. Shit. I would uh, uh, put, I'd put them on and I'd get a stapler and I'd just go, Gah, yeah, 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 dude. I was yeah. gonna say you should get like swimmers goggles or something. Yeah, like, no, it's some people strap. do they put goggles. Yeah, there was a kid in elementary school that before like any sporting event, he would put on like swimmer like prescription swimming goggles so that his glasses didn't fall off. I was, and that I was, kid never 
he had to be transferred to a different school because <laughs> yeah, people yeah, made yeah. fun of him so much. Yeah. Um, did you uh, oh. did you uh, get bullied or anything in school back in the sixties or whatever? Whenever you were <laughs> in in oh, high school. Geez. Is that a thing? How old are you? How old are you? You you were wait, anywhere wait, wait. in between thirty five and sixty. How that, old are you? Was that a cat or a dog that just passed behind you? Uh, fifty three. Oh, you're fifty three. Oh, yeah. oh smack dab in the middle of what I had thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, uh, right, yeah right in the middle of Gen X. I'm yeah. not blowing any smoke up your ass, but that's a good looking fifty three. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty pretty good. Looking I will 53. not look good. I will not. I will. People will say. <laughs> no, what, I you saw 70? you a picture of your dad. Your dad looks good. Yeah, Me? but his dad didn't drink yeah. as much as him. My, oh, my dad drinks <laughs> more. My dad's also a young dad, kind of. You know, my dad's uh, probably forty eight. So. Hmm. Hmm. I will look exactly like him, though. No, that is just. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the history of our family. This all the guys look identical and then all the women look like dogs or whatever (laughs) so what was your high school experience sam were you bullied relentlessly he was uh no i was um i was kind of like a bully a little uh yeah before i before i met my wife yeah i was a little bit on the bully side and then uh seventh grade (laughs) yeah yeah and then and then uh high school i found out i wasn't smart enough for that so i dropped out I couldn't get I'm, down I'm that. Not smart that enough to be a bully. I'm out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Game's once you're changed. smarter, or once the people you're bullying are smarter than you, that's yeah, that's yeah, a they tough. Doing like crazy when they start writing stuff. notes and holding them up, and I can't read what they say, you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah. They yeah. stop wearing underwear so you can't give them wedgies. <laughs> yeah. what, am what am I supposed to do? <laughs> good. You're a real <laughs> old school bully. And when yeah. the when the world changed, you weren't ready for that. Yeah. So. Kids started bringing like laptops to school. I can't like dip their pigtails into paint and shit anymore because we everything's electronic now. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. So my high school experience wasn't great, but you totally dodged <laughs> that question. You you didn't say it. You seem like you seem like a guy that was very shy in high school. Were you a shy no, guy? No, you know I I, I wasn't really bullied. Uh, <clears throat> I I'm pretty I was always pretty tall. Uh, so you know I wasn't like a small guy that would get bullied. But Wait, I, are you tall? I'm six four. What? Oh. Really? Oh, you you definitely <laughs> do not don't, put off six four yeah. energy. I'm sorry. Don't, don't bully me, please. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Oh now God. I'm I'm cowering in fear. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Go well, on, I'm, sir. I also grew up in a in a, a really crazy kind of a religious cult, uh, and so I had a lot of friends that we all kind of stuck together. So there was always. Oh, and I grew up with system. like seven guys from the time I was little. We were always together and did stuff together, went to school together. Were you like so. Mormons or something? No, yeah. it was just a non denominational weird group of people that I was born into. Oh. That I oh, ended up, I left there when I was, my sister and I left when we were about 18 or so. That's crazy. Gotcha. That's cool. Huh. I mean, like, was cool, it, like, well, like it's it, interesting. Like, well, you, it, there were, it, it was, it was not cool. Uh, yeah, there was some cool. Like, <laughs> There were some good things about it. You know, now when I look back, one, one thing that was nice about it was there was traditional roles for people. Uh, and whenever anyone was in need, like if there was a widow that needed a roof on her house or something, you know, she would make a call and there'd be 50, 100 guys out there. Uh, or if you couldn't Whoa, work. How well, big was this it. cult? <laughs> it was pretty big. There's probably yeah. three, 3,500 people or so in Whoa. it. Whoa. And it was up there in the the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it was up in Oregon, just outside of Portland. Damn. Whoa. Huh. Wait. Yeah. Was, was it was it the the Raj? No. What what were those guys that like the Raj Nishis? Yes. <laughs> were you oh. the Raj Nishis? No, no, it wasn't. That was that was down south, but that was all going on when I was when I was younger. Oh. No, it was uh, it wasn't like cult like you would maybe think like that. It was they were just normal people, but they had some weird ideas. It was isolated. So yeah. we were completely forbidden of having like friendships or dating outside of that. Oh. Um, but everyone smoked cigarettes, all the men, not the women, but the men smoked, but no one drank and hospitals and medical care was completely uh, off the, what was not, a, you know, that was, that was a no go. Yeah. Um, it's like the village. They were monsters. Yeah, I was say, that village yeah. scenario you, yeah. you were talking yeah. about is a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, you know, I'm, I'm good at it. I practiced it great. Yeah. Years, so I know all about it. <laughs> That's uh, but so outside much. of that, they were pretty normal. It was just very blue collar. You know, there weren't a lot of educated people there. Education was shunned, you know, because they, they wanted to kind of keep keep control of you through fear and ignorance. And, 
you know, there were some, there was that, but there was good parts to it as well. But once I became aware and like, ah, I can't, I can't get with this. My sister and I both left. It was a tough thing to leave because when you've grown up in a closed community like that with all of your family, and I was yeah. really close to my granddad and all my friends were friends from the time I was just a baby. Uh, once you le left that, you were cut off and, and blackballed. So to go in, to be grown in that, or raised in that closed environment and then turn loose into the world, it was, it was a pretty tough thing. Oh, uh, you're, uh, I've heard you talk about your grandfather a lot. Was he part of, he was a part of that whole? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Commune or what was he a founding a founding father? No, it so was pretty. Old. It was pretty old. It had it had been together the same families in it for several generations. It, it some, some came out of Idaho and some out of Oklahoma. And I don't really know the origins or how it all started. You know, it was it was religious, but religious. It wasn't like we would go to church twice a week. Yeah, but it would yeah. never. But they but religion was to be a private thing. You like no one ever taught you anything. You just kind of showed up there and did, you know ever, did it did what you had to do. Yeah. Really but that, honestly, you said it was a negative experience, but it seems like the most relaxed cult I've ever heard of. It seems more like it was just kind of like a little like a little town that had nobody else but themselves. To really yeah, it, it, it was similar to that. Yeah, yeah, it was similar to that. Yeah, it just it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it wasn't super crazy, but I I, I, I couldn't hang with it. I yeah, couldn't no deal with hospitals. It. What if you got like a huge boo boo? Yeah, like a, yeah, well, a lot of the girls, uh, the the kids got married pretty early. The 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 kids were usually married at like 17, 18 typically, and uh, a lot of the girls died in childbirth. My first cousin, oh, I was really close to, she was in labor for three days. It would have been an easy thing, um, uh, you know, cesarean section would have survived. You know, the baby would have been saved. She would have survived it, but she died. Many of the girls died from that because they they would not uh, allow it, and they just would do things like that i broke my collarbone compound fracture my collarbone and rather than going to the hospital my parents called the elders and they came over and said it twice and it kept popping out and tied me to a hospital bed and a piece of plywood for about five weeks and you know that was the Jeez. that was the type of that was kind of gas right there. Oh, Jesus. yeah <clears throat> no i yeah I, I didn't even consider uh now that I'm thinking about it, I probably would have died would if I was born over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I dropped below my birth weight a couple times and they had to force feed me stuff. They probably would just chuck me out in the wood pile oh, yeah, if I was <laughs> if I was born in your little commune. Quiet yeah, hanging out by the road to appease the angry gods. Yeah, damn. That um yeah, that sucks. But uh is it still around? Yeah, it's still around. Uh Do you, I, ever, I have you to... ever show back up over there with like a fucking Lambo. Just yeah, just yeah, with a, Lam a rented shit. Lambo. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is I am back, losers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't. My friend told me I should charter a helicopter and get a couple of strippers and just land in the parking lot. And <laughs> yeah, it. I don't know if I could go that far. And do that, but <laughs> no. I mean, there, there were. I don't want to just focus on the bad. I, if you were to ask me twenty years ago, it was. You know, pretty negative the experience and uh but you know now when i look back on it, i'm like there was a lot of good things to the community and growing up in a hunting family you know where you would go and there would be you know a hundred hundred men that you could we would go deer hunting and bear and elk hunting with and having that when you're a young man you know 12 13 14 and you're around strong men that know how to handle themselves and fix cars and hunt and fish and shoot and butcher animals you know that was really wonderful it was there was no there was no ambiguity about when you you stopped being a child and became a man and you know that's yeah. something that's kind of lacking for for a lot of a lot of guys you know they don't, don't really know i see guys and talk to guys on my channel that are 30 35 with their old family with their own families and they still like it they still haven't really made that transition one time my uh, uncle, you're talking to one yeah well, hold on sam hold <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah. one time my uncle and my cousins made me go hunting when i was a kid and uh they killed a deer and i cried in secrecy so it's you know it's like the the inverse of that coin yeah. i was uh you know my a lot of my families are like big on hunting and stuff but my mom's been a vegetarian since she was like eight so you know i had a little bit of a different upbringing yeah, no, I actually I felt the same way, Poop. I, I I didn't know any different, and I really idolized my grandfather. He he was an extraordinary guy, and and I wanted to be like him. So I started hunting with him when he was when I was ten, and I started carrying a rifle when I was twelve. And I shot I've shot a lot of animals mm -hmm. and 
all that, but I never liked it. I always felt bad about it. And as soon as I got away from that, I never really had a desire to get back to it. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. And if it came to that where I would oh, yeah. have if to it was like survival or something, but... something yeah, to live or feed my family, I wouldn't have a second thought about it, but I don't have to do that now. And I, I, it's kind of distasteful to me as well. Yeah. I, um, I have a family member that goes hunting and then I just get all the meat from them, but I don't have to, uh, yeah, that's I re- love meat. <laughs> reaping the benefits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, why don't you go hunting? I'm like, why the hell would I, I got you out there in the trees and shit. Like a, like a Viet Cong what, what, do they, shooting. what do they hunt down there? Python yeah, or doing? something? Or you get some snake meat? He, or he does meat? the, the smallest little white tailed deers you can imagine. Uh, uh, Florida is not known little. for its giant majestic uh, elk or anything. He gets like these little, He's, they basically look like Bambi. And he, he, got, he like blows, their, more blows sad, their head yeah. off with a shotgun. Yeah, and then yeah, my, brings my house, me the like, venison. Uh, I like grew up in my mom's house, like in the woods, and like the deer, like pets, in addition. Like we just <laughs> yeah. have a bunch of random animals around the house and stuff. And yeah, they like, know when they're not going to be messed with, dude. You'll find, like, if they know they can't be shot, you go out to like, uh, um, like when I was in Col- like Estes Park, Colorado. Oh, where it's they, like illegal out of season. Yeah, they, they know yeah. they're not going to get shot out there. So I, I, it's uh, just the countryside's just full of them. Scary experience once where I was with my friend and his dog in the woods when we were kids. And with his mom and the dog chased. We're like, what's it chasing through that tall grass? And it was a baby deer. And then the mom deer like charged the dog. And the dog's like, oh, fuck, and ran right back to us. And we're both like, oh, like this deer's running right at us. And his mom did like a... It's like almost like caveman instinct, but in such a less cool way. She just screamed at the top of her lungs at it, you know, it ran off. But like, oh man, I, I wish if I had gone there, I probably would have blown its brains out. But that's yeah, a different <laughs> scenario. Horror. If they're just like in my yard, like I could just hunt, you know, like they just go out there. They just, they just like the property. But I don't know. I've There's- never had the, the urge. Those does are vicious, man. You you might want to upgrade them on your uh, what's what's the uh, podcast you guys did with the animals you can kill with a bat? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I've, I've, I've seen those does uh, k- uh, kill and injure many, even big dogs. They'll stab at them with their hoof. Their hoof is actually yeah, they're, yeah. I've seen that too. They they turn yeah. into like ballerinas and they just bring it down like a javelin. Yeah, yeah. I saw one stab. Stab at a, at a dog that ran up on it, and it laid it open, and all its intestines rolled out on the oh, ground. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. I'd probably kill that deer if that did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one deer I would probably beat. That's my limit. I wouldn't feel yeah. a goddamn thing. It already killed the dog. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, speaking of that, my, my grandfather told me when he was a kid, his, his father, just like this tiny little Irish alcoholic guy, was he was out in the yard uh, using um, uh, a scythe that's how, that's to how cut describe grass? Describe you one day, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, this guy was this guy was raised before they had like money for meat and stuff. So he uh, was like five foot four. I don't know how big he would have been if he if he had had a proper no chocolate diet. milk. Yeah, yeah he yeah. had no chalky milk. Yeah, but he was cutting the grass with a with a big scythe, and the family dog like just ran up next to him and caught the scythe like under its belly. And oh just completely God. disemboweled it. And it, my grandfather was like six. Like he's young <laughs> as hell. Oh sees God. the family dog get completely disemboweled. And then my grandfather or my great grandfather just goes over there and pokes all the intestines back in and sews them back up. And the dog lived like another Dude, what? eight, nine years. Yeah. Jesus. It, it was I'm like. I'm glad but, that didn't end as just dog kill I, story. But no, no, yeah, yeah, no. He lived. Like, he's like. Um, in the, in his he's like he was like, I, he's like, he put all the intestines back in there and there was like bits of grass. He vividly remembered there was just like, it was just, there was stuff in there, you know? Uh, <laughs> and not a, you know, a weird, you know, a segue, but your cat is adorable and I would not put it in the mm-hmm. sack. Very cute cat you got back there. I thought it was like a bobcat at first oh, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. It's close. It's way tiner. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was like, I thought it was like a dog. A, that's like a Lord of the Rings perspective. Yeah. Like force perspective thing. Yeah. It's yeah, a giant. Do you She's have- 18, 18. Oh, Jesus. oh, shit. oh, that's a little, little granny. Yeah. Senior. Someone dumped her off 18 years ago. Uh, she was pregnant and was hungry. Came up to my shop at a shop. Uh, used to have sell stuff on eBay and Jeep parts and stuff. And she's lived in my shops the whole time for 18 years. She's been, I think, four shops now. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it, are those cans of gasoline right next to your wood stove directly behind you? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my name, Sam. Yeah, that's that's awesome. You should move them closer. I feel like it would be a cooler shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're crazy. Like yeah, you need that. to work on your framing. Definitely put those, stack those right next to that wood stove <laughs> yeah. as close as possible. On the top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, what you do, Sam, is when you put your wood stove in, you make sure that the air intake takes air from the outside, then you don't suck up any vapors inside. Oh, yeah. I'll keep that in mind when I'm yes, trying to heat Wood my Florida house. Wood stoves are actually house. awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that, that's what Poop's got going on there. Yeah, yeah I've got yep. a little wood stove over here. I've got a wood stove at my parents' house, and it's always it's really cool, you know, during the winter and stuff. It's a cold-ass house, but you throw that thing in, keep it going. Are those, like, like steam-powered fans? Those are awesome. Yeah, they're oh, well. They're actually, they are. They're little. They're they're basically little steam engines. They call them Stirling engines. It's the same concept, but they run off of uh, off of heat. So the heat displaces, and there's a piston that goes up and then runs it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're, that is they're really they're really nice. They're they're handmade in uh, England. They're they're pretty cool. They're made by Warp Nine, I think it is. Gee, well, now I want a cabin. Yeah. <laughs> just to, yeah, just to get those sweet fans. <laughs> yeah, I I, I watch a lot of your stuff because it's like it gives me like uh like mountain man envy. You got you get to have a lot of cool stuff, chop firewood and and stuff. And, the, and then firewood like is not video fun. Games. It's wait, cool. Do you, do you, wait, do you have like an uh like a press that splits it and everything? Or, you know, whole setup, or do you just splitter. do most of it by hand? Some t- we have all of the above. Uh, oh, we have uh, one of a we have a firewood processor that we'll bring out once a year. That's this huge machine that um, we just take the tractors and put the whole logs up on there, uh, and it goes through the conveyor belt and chops it and splits oh, it, and sweet. It, it, dumps it in the trail, the whole thing. So we'll do it that way, or we have just the old school wood splitters, and sometimes we just do it by hand. Yeah, um, I've got like zero envy for that because when I was a kid, my we had a bunch of like cabins and stuff from. It'd be like our little duty to get firewood ready for them. And it was like before we had one of those like hydraulic press, like log splitters. splitters. It was just yeah. all like just got there and cut yeah. wood. I'm like, this, this yeah, it, may, it makes you, it <laughs> yeah. makes you feel like you have a purpose. Yeah. Well, oh, I, my yeah. purpose was yeah. video games. So I'd have to be interrupted from, <laughs> yeah. you know, oblivion, yeah. go out there and chop some wood. I'm like, scream at them. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The, but, the fun wears off really quickly. That's why I keep a manservant to do those. Yes, uh, yes, those that's what I've been looking is that, for. Is that what your, your son is? Manservant? manservant. No, no, I have a, I have a, I have a, a personal assistant, uh, mm. my, my, my man, Jariah, that helps me out a lot of stuff. So oh, okay. a lot of those things, those mundane things, there's, we have a pretty big piece of property and a lot of equipment and such and trying to run the channel and everything. He does a lot of those things, helps me out with a lot of that stuff. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so very... I, just the stove. Mm. I just burn it, man. I don't, I don't cut it so much anymore. My, mm. uh, my little siblings, native, have, my, my little yeah. sister is getting a lot luckier because now my, my mom's doing better off. So they've got like a handyman that's just at the house all the time doing <laughs> like, he'll just oh. cut some wood. I'm like, what the hell? Where was this guy? You know, this, yeah. this guy rocks. Yeah. Like she gets to play video games. What the hell's yeah. That's, that's what you want to get to the point where you can have a handyman full time. That That's yeah. life changing. It's, oh my God, the furniture moving. She's like me in a way where she buys a bunch of dumb shit. But like her, she does it on a grander scale, and she's like, "Yeah, move it to the basement, boys." Oh, uh, actually, I think it looked better on the, you know, second floor. <laughs> and like now, it's just like this guy is just there to help. It's like uh, it's what a relief, you know. Oh, I'm guy. not, I'm not to that point yet. You want your you know, own guy? Yeah, I, I, I want my own guy. Of course, I like a guy. <laughs> you know, I, I, I want him once. I have nothing for him to do though yet. Uh, you could dress him up, like uh, make him. Today's Western Day. I'm putting chaps on you. Yeah, you have to wear this like big ten gallon hat. <laughs> yeah, I could do uh, like the pink pan- old Pink Panther movies where I have them like at any moment like, attack me. That way, I'm always on, <laughs> yeah. you know, training for you know. <laughs> that's what you need to do for else. your. That's your next prepper tip: is you need to hire a handyman and then whenever randomly have them quick draw on you and see if yeah. your reflexes or, paintball or, guns uh, you know, or something. Practice- Constant vigilance. That's what you need to practice. Airsoft air, air gun and a rubber knife. And it's like, if he gets me, I know I'm getting <laughs> yeah. old. Yeah, he's always going, you can drop from the ceiling right now. I have to catch him. Bam! Throw him through the brick wall. <laughs> Stuff like that. Keep me on edge because I feel like I'm getting soft in my old age. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm rounding my edges uh, a little. No, no, no. You're, you're doing good. You made that fire behind you. you I got, made that fire. Yeah. I put that shrine up. 
Yep. Yeah. My big ass roommate helped me. He's way stronger than me. Help me get that down here. You God, hoisted when, that when, that disco when, ball up into the rafters. I did do that. Yeah, I did do that. Do that. I did it single handedly. That's when those I, ram horns are not light. I've shot those things. They're heavy. Yeah. They're not, dude. It's a, it's a real ram horn right here. And <laughs> That's you see right. You grab these, you suck on those, like, you get a little bit of power. <laughs> With, uh, girl there too. The person I was that helped me grab this shrine and put it in my car, I had never been more like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm all right. I'm, I'm going to be fine. Because they were like, um, I don't know, like cripplingly nervous about like, uh, do you need help moving that in your car? I'm like, yeah, I, no fucking way. Yeah. And like, hey, you guys got to help me. You expect me to pick up a shrine uh, by myself? Yeah. And he uh. like, he was like, oh, okay. And, you know, this little guy, and he, we start picking up. He's like, ah, 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 ah. like just very nervous. And I'm like, it's very fragile looking. But I'm like, you break it. Like, ah, whatever. I'm not going to be mad. Like, let's just get this in my car. And they're like, ah, ah, ah. I'm like, damn. Dad. Oh, my God. Have you seen that? That amazing video of the person that like lows lowering the box. Yeah, he's like, you know he's like crying. Yeah. And it's like a thirty-five pound box. He's you gotta <laughs> see it, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Like the Home Depot on top of the list. Yes, yes. 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 He's going down. Yeah, I you know. Sometimes, like, I, I'm not a very masculine person, or you know, I never really care about that kind of stuff. But like, when I see that video, I'm like, thank God that I, you know, I think <laughs> I, I, I like at least I'd I'd sooner die. From like having it like choke me out, then be like, ah, 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 yeah. like it's in front of people. Like, good, good yeah. God, I don't know. I'd let it crush me first, sooner. I, I just die. I mean, maybe that's a fault of mine. But well, speaking yeah. of masculine, Sam, have you put that axe to work? Uh, yeah, I um, I hired some guys to clear some of my property, <laughs> and then some of the oak trees grew the back. And and I oh, and I took shit. it and I used it to shave Sapling. the the saplings back. <laughs> so yeah, it's a taste yeah. of blood. Uh, <laughs> it I I have like I have that Grand Force Brooks like hatchet, and then I have uh like an axe by some other company. It's some like Italian company, and I swear like I'm not an outdoorsman guy. All right, I know you're like forestry service dude, like one with the trees and stuff. Are you but, really? But this axe, it's Sam, like the. Not? The the thing's not like the metal isn't te like tempered right or something like that. It's too soft. I swear, like yeah. it's dull the second I use it. The I, Italian, I, I, yeah, it didn't get like heat treated. They don't cut wood over there. Yeah, man. it's oh. called like a like a purd or something like that or a purdy. I don't. Man, know. We're like a turdy. Is that what it is? Yeah. What's what it called? Prandy. 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 Yeah, hmm. I swear it. It like they failed. What to is that heat like the wish it. version of like axes or something? No, it was. It was. Oh. It seemed decent. I don't know. It had good reviews or whatever. So they cut one log. Maybe you're just like anymore. swinging it wrong. Am I? Yeah. Do you think I'm swinging you're supposed it wrong? To, not the flat part. You're supposed yeah. to use the sharp <laughs> it's so blade dull. part, dude. Yeah. It's like yeah. flat dull. Dude, like, I'm telling yeah. you, I have to <laughs> sharpen that thing like four times for every time I have to sharpen like the little. Grand Force Brooks one. How you're you're right about are you that. Cutting down. You are absolutely right about Grand Force Brooks. Those are some damn good oh, cutting implements. Metal. Yeah, it's quality flat. stuff. Yeah. I don't know. If you, I've got a big ass mallet back here. It's like show uh, him the, the mallet, dude. This guy like loves 1900s. tools. Uh, I don't want to grab it. Right you, now. Ever seen, you ever seen? You ever seen Gallagher? Yeah. It's a it's Gallagher a, oh, yeah. mallet, and it's yeah. good yeah. for if there's a tree in my way. Except I live in the suburbs, so there's one tree now, which is kind of sad. Every once in a while, I got there. Make sure it stays blunt. <laughs> yeah. so, I don't want to get in sharp. I'll make sure I whack Damn it on the concrete. Have you have you spent much time in the interior of Florida? Uh, what like the like away from the shores? That's like my up, up, like up, up north where the uh, up where the piggly wigglies are. Oh, piggly yeah, wiggly. yeah, that's that's where I am. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah. I saw some things up there that I'd never seen before. Like what? Well, I remember I drove up through there on my way up to Cape Canaveral, and I saw like thirteen-year-old pregnant girl selling boiled peanuts barefoot on the side of the street. Yeah, that's my that's my neck of the woods. Yeah, that's, that's my neck of the woods, baby. Yeah, I think it's yeah. make money. Went to the Piggly Wiggly, and my sister got sexually uh, <laughs> attacked by and some she, guy with no teeth. She was like, "What the hell? I thought I left the the cult behind." <laughs> oh man, I, I found was, him was back down here. Yeah, so I got to go hunting up there as well. Oh really? Have you seen their hunting trucks that they take out in the Everglades? Yeah, yeah, they got the those Bigfoot things. Uh, no, I haven't. I have. Oh wait, are you talking like a, like a big platform basically on? Yeah, with the Bigfoot tires on it. Yeah, yeah, those are awesome. 
for hunting Bigfoots or for yeah. hunting uh, pythons? It's like deer. hunting whatever the hell's out there. I don't know. Big enough. Yeah. But that, what's out in the they, Everglades? What do people think, hunt out there? I think they hunt raccoons, hogs, or raccoons. something, don't they? Or gators? Are, gators? Aren't like oh. pythons destroying all the mammals in the Everglades or something? Or like invasive pythons? Or is that not a thing? Yeah, I think they yeah, pay, they pay people to kill to them to take right? them out. Yeah. Wait, yeah. speaking of the Everglades, I did see the most insane video of all time. It's this guy on TikTok goes around yeah. the Everglades. Yeah, it is pitch black. It's the middle of the night. He's out in the Everglades barefoot, and he's just yeah. like, just like grabbing animals yeah, out of the he, water he, he and holding them up to the, the camera. <laughs> he posts those every night. Like he'll just walk up to an alligator and scare it off and be like, "Oh, that was a big one," and then he'll yeah. go and be like, "Oh, look, python, grab it!" Like he. <laughs> it, or it'll be like insect swarm and you can barely see out of the camera because there's so many bugs yeah no. and yeah he's very how about those guys that that go down for those gi- in those holes underwater and grab those giant channel catfish oh what with oh, their yeah. arm or whatever yeah, yeah they yeah. stick their hand oh, yeah. down there water. Little, apparently yeah. sometimes <laughs> sometimes they they reach down there because they're using their little finger like a worm and it's not a catfish, and instead it's an alligator snapping oh, turtle, God. and yeah, it bites so off scary. bites off their finger like a, and it just <laughs> gone. You know, I, like why would you risk it? Like catfish aren't that good. No. They just sit in a little mud hole and eat shit all day. They can't be that tasty. <laughs> they, it, not not it's enough to of, risk a, a finger of, for. You know, huge. I mean, if you fry them up enough, you know, get enough. Yeah. Fry I don't know, dude. That, fried yeah. catfish is pretty I'm good. Yeah, I, I that's all you answer your own yeah. question. I'm sorry, I I'm forgot about the whole frying element. Frying Once they're fried, them. they're great. But if yeah. you ever had fried alligator snapping turtle, because that's where you start getting into some crazy territory. That's it might be worth losing a finger over. I don't know. I haven't. I'm. Mean, it's weird that we have those in Indiana too. You'd think that'd be like more of a Everglade thing, but like we have those too. They're scary. They're scary. Yeah. They hissy you and they got a big ass. Like, but uh, luckily, I'm never. I never put myself in a situation, especially now where I'd have my hand anywhere near one. So, I just kind of live by that. Yeah, yeah. I live by that's. I have one rule in life, and it's don't stick my hand down in don't dark, go in weird holes. places. <laughs> yeah, where I'm, I'm kind of risk adverse, game. so I, you know, I'd rather. There's people that go. Point. They they go like out and they explore and hunt in this place called Tate's Hell nearby. Oh, that sounds pleasant. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and apparently your fireplace is getting low, dude. Yeah, your fi- poop. You're, yeah. you're gonna need to oh, wood shit. there. Yeah, re up that fire, dude. Yeah. That's pathetic. Cody's isn't even halfway done burning. It hasn't even wavered. His looks great. Yours is I know. <laughs> yours is about to refresh. No, it's yeah. self, it's self replanting. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. You oh, let it die. Oh. You let it dwindle. <laughs> That's pathetic. Anyways, Tate's Hell is like this oh, guy apparently roaring. way back in the day, he he got lost out out in Tate's Hell. He was following his cattle and they went out into this swamp and he followed him out there. And I forget how many he might have been out there for like 48 hours or something like that. But he basically wandered through Tate's Hell for. Uh, is it called yeah. that before? Or is he, no, he, no, he, no, he, no. It was just it was just a giant Hell. swamp. His oh. name was Tate. It was just he called goes, hell before. He goes wandering through it and comes out the other side covered in leeches and shit. And he had been like fighting off alligators and just bitten by everything, covered in like poison ivy and stuff. And he and he just like he walks out and goes like, "My name's Tate, and I've just been through hell." And then I think he died. Everyone agreed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody was like, "Damn, yeah. dude, well, that fucked. guy's messed up." That and guy um, on TikTok would have been fine. He, just he probably w- right yeah. through there. Well, that guy's a goddamn, like, Cinderella. I don't understand how he just walks through the wilderness without getting attacked. But My What were you saying, Cody? Magic. I'm sorry. Did he find his cows? I don't know if he... F- no, I think he died. I think his cows are probably gone, and I think he died immediately <laughs> afterwards. It, it was like his version of, like, the, the runner from Marathon, you know, that reaches his destination and then keels over. Yeah. And, David um, people, well, that's but more people like- hear that story and go, hey, let's go out there and hunt and hang out. Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, like a party I don't want to go there. Yeah, so you can't blame right. that guy, but yeah, anyone afterwards. It's like, what's well, to me, it's weird. People even go caving, you know, let alone like underwater caving or stuff like that. Where it's shit. like, yeah, splunking is so. I did it like minimal level, like twice. I'm like, this is, I didn't want to go one time, you know, and it was like, I was forced to go twice. Those videos where people are. Like, oh, I got to take a couple deep breaths. Like, I'm really stuck this time. And oh, it's, like, all about your mental, like, staying positive or whatever. I just can't imagine 
what they get. Maybe it's some sort of high out of being like, you know, it's like an adrenaline junkie thing. But I'd rather I'd rather skydive than I'd rather just be a junkie than than an adrenaline junkie. Yeah. 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 Like, why go down into a a cave or, or what have you when there's. Like heroin and stuff, I'm sure is a much heroin better and a nice warm bed. Yeah. Probably yeah. equal chance oh, of survival. A nice warm bed too. I was talking yeah. just on the sidewalk or whatever. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you, you never you see heroin up. addicts laid up in bed. That is such a. I bet you that's that's heaven. Well, right there's there. high class yeah. heroin addicts. They don't care about as much. Everyone, you ever see those opium dens from like those old movies from the 1800s? Yeah. Where'd those go? Those seem like a great time, and they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. They replaced them with caving and <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, what's happening, man? Speak, yeah. Okay, here's society. a concerning thing that's up there in, in your neck of the woods, Cody. Have you seen I've seen Chupacabra. posts of it on the internet, but have you seen like the reemergence of Hoovervilles? Like people that are just getting RVs together and like vans and then they make like these little Oh yeah. Panties. Just yeah, settlements, it's, like it's, homeless it's, settlements. Yeah. It's happening right here. Yeah, you, your area seems to be like the hotbed, and you see that stuff start popping up, and you go, "Damn!" Like the last time this was around was the Great Depression. What's yeah, about so to happen? It's legit. I actually gave. Uh, I was up just last, maybe a couple months ago. There was a guy walk. It was pouring down rain. A guy was walking down into town. You know, probably ten miles from where his trailer was, mm-hmm. down to get supplies, and gave him a ride and talked to him a little bit about it and ask him about it and he's like yeah there's there's more and more families coming up there all the time there's even little kids up there and it's cold up there man i mean there's you get eight nine ten feet of snow up there and there's these little i mean some of them have tents some of them have rvs or they'll get a car and they'll drag something up there and then the car breaks down and that's what they do man they're up there cutting trees and the the forest service is not doing anything about it they're just it's yeah it's becoming a huge problem like yeah. the opposite of how Rambo started. Like it was nice of you to give that guy a yeah. ride. Yeah, yeah. Could just go yeah. get out that, of town. We don't want you kind. We don't want drifters here. But <laughs> that's scary that those are popping up because like if if the people can afford like an RV or like a big car, it's just like the Great Depression times, there's uh, newspaper boys out down the streets. <laughs> no, I was gonna. <laughs> uh, you, you can tell these are people that used to be lower middle class and then they've just slipped out. You yeah. know, they they've. It's pushing them out into homelessness. Yeah, that's, that's, which that's true. And that's what I've noticed, too. It's not their lower middle class. It's not like, you know, people that have been drifters or vagrants their yeah. whole life. These are just people that just were just pay te- paycheck to paycheck. And there was a little hiccup. And there's yeah. no safety net for them. Yeah. And uh, that sucks. Yeah, we're going to see more of that. My granddad lived through the Depression. He was an Okie in Oklahoma. And he told me, he used to tell me stories about it. He said that they were so poor back then. They went, used to go to a one-room schoolhouse. And the, a lot of the kids there would, would show up with sparrow sandwiches. And they would take slingshots and shoot the sparrows in the barn. That's all they had between two pieces of bread was oh. a sparrow sandwich. That is kind of badass. But it's also <laughs> not. <laughs> that's also like really Good sad. Shot, but yeah, yeah also that's, incredibly. Yeah, yeah, that's more I, a, I had Lunchables. But um, yeah, Dunkaroos and stuff. Yeah, I had, I had Galaxy. Would you, rather have a, Sam, would you rather have a sparrow sandwich or a, a whole can of refried beans in a tortilla? Ooh, I was kind of a chef boy RD with a fork kind of guy. I would I would just open it and That's put the not fork the question. in there. But yeah, uh, the question would be probably wait, is this like a cook sparrow? Because you make it seem like no, they it's, just. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. Oh, you make it seem like they slingshotted it and it's then held the bread out. No, and I was it thinking fell feathers in there. and all beak and all. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like. You see yeah, feet feathers. sticking out one end and then the little beak sticking out the other? Yeah, you uh, might have to deal with some bones, but there's no feathers in it. It's cooked. Okay. But the but the burrito still is cold and gelatinous. Still has the the marks from the can. No, I want the sparrow sandwich. Well, the sparrow is fresh. Yeah. 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 I, I talked about this once, but like, yeah, my brother. I remember he he told me about one of his foster brothers growing up because it gets complicated. But like, my brother and I have very different upbringings. Had to he used to have to like climb into trees and eat like robin eggs just. Like to survive, like they just go up there and be like bird nest, and then you just eat like whatever random, you know, probably not glamorous bird eggs. I imagine something like an eagle egg would be good, but maybe a robin, oh, like egg. an ostrich, yeah, like a big yeah, ostrich, an ostrich egg. egg. Those are too big for me. That's too because this is what I'm not already not all a huge yolk? fan of eggs. They can feed you all so day. That's just like way too much. 
Really? We know ostriches more than ostrich. is red meat. I did not know that. Wait, what? Ostrich, ostrich meat? is red meat. meat. Estridge, ostrich is red meat. We should be farming those more. They got red meat and big eggs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're like super chickens. Why the fuck do we yeah. even bother with chickens? Cody, you want to you see a good YouTuber? Have you ever heard of this guy, Lindy Beige? Have you no. heard of him? No? Uh, he does like weird like historical videos about like, I don't know, different shit. But he, he does have this one video that is so out of his uh, wheelhouse and knowledge area. But it is an interesting point. And it's that, um, you know, there's some animals out there that I think are on the verge of extinction that um, they wouldn't be if they had a practical use. And... Like, for example, like sheep and goats and stuff are never going extinct because we use them. They're they're like a there's something that we farm and um, and they're domesticated and stuff now. Like and luxury he, animals or something like. What? Yeah. No, he brought up uh, he brought up manatees. He manatees. Was like, he was like manatees. They are basically domesticated already. And, you know, there has to be a lot of meat on them suckers. Like if we just breed them. You know, then they'll never go extinct because we need them for meat or whatever. But I wonder. And I'm like in that idea. area. You know, you know how to you catch know? What does it taste like? You know how to catch a manatee? Yeah, yeah. You, there's a, a power plant down the down the road, down <laughs> yeah. south, and they love the hot water. And so I go out there with a big, uh, like a, I don't know, like an ice hook or something and uh, get it in the top no, of the all, head. I'm all, dragging all it you, out there. All you got to do is, is if you live on one of the canals is you just throw a garden hose out there and turn the garden hose in the water. Yeah, and they'll come if it's in brackish water. They come right to it to to drink off of that, and you can nab them. Oh my god! No, normally, what I do is I just go to Sam's mom's house and I, oh. you know, I oh. throw a big net on her. Yeah. Cody, cover <laughs> your eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah, idea uh, of killing a manatee though is so like. They just seem like such <laughs> gentle beasts. Yeah, that's like killing a narwhal. Well, so do cows. Cow, like, have you ever petted know, a cow? They're so like, nice. I don't like yeah, the idea stinky. of killing a cow either, you know? Totally, but uh, it's like... They're not like, all nice, Sam. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, I mean, like... Yeah, so you ever weird. heard of mad cow disease? You, you, ever, you ever jumped yeah. in a pasture with Ryan's a bull? solid joke. <laughs> no, no, I've Ryan, never... big ups. You've said a couple sleepers. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was the lamest joke ever. Do not this stop right the up conversation to acknowledge that. <laughs> it's like a perfect joke. But it's, like, it's, uh, it's got wordplay. It's got yeah. everything. It's got every history. It's like it's, it's like highbrow. Yeah. My oh. great granddad was almost killed by a cow. Oh, what, was he like a or? matador or something? Or yeah. Yeah. no, I, I, I'm not a Good I'm not joke, really animal husband husbandry and farming and stuff. But what I understand is. Bull cows are mean and they'll chase you down and go get you on the ground and gore you to well, death. That, that's why you get the just the female ones. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah I mean, like they're, they're motherly. Like yeah. people that have chickens or whatever, you don't have to have a rooster, do you? No, no. you like, shouldn't. You shouldn't good. have a rooster, especially yeah. like I mean, it'll fertilize they, the eggs. And then you're dealing with a whole and new they thing. You have to and, deal with the noise and everything. Yeah, you don't want a rooster. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. roosters they suck. They're dicks. I yeah. pet Assholes. chickens at my mom's house, but they unfortunately were just ravaged by a fox i heard which is like you know for most people it's like ah whatever but they were like genuine like i think my mom liked one of the chickens more than any of our dogs like she would rock it in a chair and stuff and it was like a pet but it's a, it's you know just a wild chicken to everyone else like it's i never had a gr great attachment to those those chickens but i can't imagine a rooster it's like a, it's a, it's a living alarm clock that also makes your eggs weird yeah you know? I don't want to crack an egg open and see a little bird in it. You know, I don't want any of that. Eggs I are do. dodgy anyways. You don't want anything, any surprises in, inside yeah. your eggs. I want my egg to look the same every time. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a chicken coop, I think. I, I think mean, they're, make, they're fun yeah. little little guys. Yeah. I think I'm going to get one mostly because everybody's complaining about the price of eggs. I, mm. It really, I feel like I could buy a million eggs before I... You know, it even competes with the price of setting up a chicken coop and buying chickens. But um, I think it would be cool to to have some chickens. I think I'm gonna they're, they're, let me get no, I think they're fun. You know, they're, and then me and Cody will be on the same level of like outdoors prepared. Meat. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, I got I yeah, got, I some, I got three or four chickens. <laughs> you can drink chicken milk when yeah. you run out of water. Are you kidding me? If I walked up his driveway, post apocalyptic, with a big basket full of eggs, I would be and welcome. 
Yeah, and a, and a uh, yeah. Grand Force Brook. It says yeah. it on yeah, the that's side. The Italian one. Yeah, I that's left the funny. stupid Italian one at home. Don't worry. <laughs> that's the key to the city yeah. around here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'd show up with my trinkets. I mean, I, I, I'd have some sort of rickshaw filled with all my my belongings, my art, fine art, fine art. Uh, and Brian, I, uh, if you weren't learning Chinese. Do I know any Chinese? You bet. You better learn it. <laughs> I, why? Why? why Brian, you need to learn something. Okay, you bring it. Uh, you drive. Right? No, I know honestly, drive. I know gang signs. Silent honestly, language. if if society was to fall, Brian would be like the. First dude dead out of anybody I know. Oh, give him some credit. No one would think to raid his room because it's it's so yeah. desolate. They, they, you just you lay even... on your bed, they'd be like, all right, the guy killed himself in here and they get out of here. <laughs> it's already been picked clean. Let's go. Yeah. Next house. They'd take your TV and couch and be like, right, let's go. Mm. Why brought... skate three on here? You'd an eye would come, <laughs> pop open. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd even try to survive. To be honest, I don't, I don't You've think got, you have a reason to try to survive for your family, yeah. unless they were also all like, "Let's do it, let's get out yeah, of here." They do like a, a communal. I would definitely. I would try just to, you know, because it's like, what else is there at that point? Like, I don't really, you know, we joke, but I think it'd be, you know, I wouldn't want to kill myself right away. I'd give it if I saw like a raiding party and they were like Mad Max, like, yeah. wow, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably, you know, then. Well, it depends. Um, okay, first of all, I'm going to preface this with it depends how it plays out. Yeah. Okay. If that if, big if volcano society, erupts, I'm dead anyway. But Yeah. If it's something like that or if it's like, you know, the global economy shits the bed, you know, who cares? But if it's like, like you know, that Cormac Creatures? McCarthy novel, The Road, where like the oh, soil God. is all of a sudden yeah. tainted, there's no, there's no crops, so you, people just eat each other. I saw the road once when I was yeah, a I'm little going. kid, and yeah, that put some in me of like, I don't want to be around. Yeah, but that's uh, Isn't but v there... Vigo gonna be there? Is Vigo Mortensen gonna be my dad in that scenario? He didn't do a whole lot for his son. He ended up dying. But I, I go, it's he's from Lord of the Rings. He's from Lord he, of the Rings. I mean, he the there's a scene where he meets another guy that's nice, and the, he makes him strip, and he steals everything off his back. It gets cold. <laughs> not, you know, not gonna get cold. It was horrific. He was even a bad guy in his own story. I, I don't think, think there, at that point some... it's a lot, lot more like, are you a bad guy? Or, you know, it's like at that point, it's like, who cares? You know, I guess yeah, I can, I'd be a hero. I'd be a hero in the apocalypse. I I'd... think there's honor with just going out with the rest of society and just going, I'm, I'm sinking with this ship. You don't have to worry about that. You're gone. Okay. Yeah, I go I'll back go. home. I, I find, I dig up the chickens. I see if there's any eggs in them <laughs> left. <laughs> Uh, you know, I start working backwards. We still have many horses. Maybe I try to see if there's something they can offer. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know. What they, they don't really do much. Milk? Mm. <laughs> Maybe they make milk. I <laughs> never really looked into that. I'd be, I'd be, I would want to. I'd maybe want to do some like, uh, you know, photography of the apocalypse. Start a collection or something. Kind of, you know, document the world's falling. For who? Sam, we could do that. For who? Yeah, with your digital camera. For the future. <laughs> for for who? <laughs> for there's not a single person that would. For one day when they rebuild from scratch and they're like, we were yeah. the first people. And then what if they it's dig like, up my what if artifact. What it's like Skynet? What if it's like it's us versus uh, the robots like Cody was saying? Well, then I watched that goddamn YouTube short and I know their kill spot. Bang! <laughs> shoot, them right in the, <laughs> yeah. shoot them right in their robot heart. <laughs> and I harvest their robot milk. <laughs> I, get, I, I shoot them in the gas tank. I get my little container under there. I imagine start. like Mad Max armor, but instead of it being made out of like hockey gear and stuff, it's like Boston <laughs> Dynamic yeah, chest bomb. plates and yeah. stuff. <laughs> Got the head over me with the yeah. bull horns on it. Yeah, man. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, at that point, it's like, why wouldn't you at least try a little, you know? Oh, so, I mean, true. someone, you would well, drive. I, I want to see, I want to see the Grand Canyon. So I think I would just start yeah, walking out That'd be a good time. No way. tourists. You should drive off No the tourists, place, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd go, I'd see Mount Rushmore. I'd see, without yeah. someone being in the way. For who? For who? I'd go to the uh, Big Apple. Yeah. That would, I would do a goddamn Instax. That would be for me. It would go right in my back pocket. Yeah. I'd be taking a lot of selfies, like. Yeah. Smiling. Yeah. <laughs> this used to be a four thousand dollar apartment. Check this out. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, I think I, yeah, I probably, I the only, I you know, if I actually had to think about it, my roommate, his uncle is kind of like not a prepper really, but they have a lot of land with a lot of animals that are sustainable. They've got a garden, and he's already kind of paranoid because he got robbed once. 
So he bought mm. a ton of guns and like he has a ghillie suit and all this shit. Like I'd probably just be like, you want to throw one more in there? Like I get to come. And then I'd, I'd infiltrate, get my family over there. Probably have to pop them. And uh, I'd just try to live off that land. But I'd I also that's be stuck a, in black, Indiana. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do, I think, is, is look for someone that has it all. Yeah. All the shit I mean, already? Yeah. I mean, that's like... Find a, find a prepper you know. In, and in that problem. Last of Us episode, they're like, these guys got it made, let's go kill these guys. And then it doesn't work because he has, like, booby traps everywhere. But yeah. your average man, I wouldn't have booby traps. I'd have, like, paint bucket on a rope. You know, I'd have <laughs> piano case, falls and We need to find, like... I don't think we would attack Cody because he's he's spent no, so much no. damn time. It's his day job to come no. up with well, prepper so how ideas. How the hell and stuff would I too. get to Washington but, State? You know, but what we do is we contact him with one of those like GPS phones or whatever. Well, and I can I make go, smoke I go, rings. Cody, <laughs> WhatsApp. Cody, <laughs> go to your email and and because mm-hmm. you know you have people that write in that are like not quite as prepared as you. Like they're they're starting to get there, but they're not quite well, there. That's what yep. you want to go for. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the where, are, where are easy yes. pickings? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I ha- I just bought this many rations, and I was wondering how do I? Yeah, those but I haven't people. bought a gun yet. Which gun should <laughs> yeah. I buy? Yeah. What's your address? <laughs> yeah. I will send you one. Where are you? <laughs> yeah. That's what we yeah. need for sure. Do you get a lot of? Uh, do you get a lot of? Like emails from uh, what you would consider the crazies? Do you get the crazies? No, I don't. I, I've never. Well, I've never met a crazy. Uh, I've never had a crazy person come up to me in public, which surprises me. Um, no, not too much. I mean, I, I get a lot of people that are kind of not a lot, but once in a while you get someone that's lost. Uh, a lot of guys out of the military and they're trying to find their ways and they want to come out and, and intern or work. Or, but I wouldn't say that they're crazy. Just a few no. people that are kind of lost. But I haven't. I've never really ran into any crazy people. Huh. Do you know, like, because uh, I feel like. I don't know if it's, you know, sometimes you hear about the like prepper who it's almost like they're kind of rooting for something to happen. Have you met that type where it's like, oh yeah, they they're kinda, all can't wait yeah, for they're, it. They're they, they they're it. almost yeah. wishing so that their preparation ha- like bears fruit or they do. Yeah, they want to justify their last ten years of hoarding stuff. Yeah, yeah. Though, there's there's a lot of that. there's a lot of that on YouTube. Hmm. That's a that's a weird mentality. I always thought, but yeah, I mean, I, they don't they don't have any they don't have any clue. They they don't understand what it's like to have to kill and butcher an animal like for real, like cut its throat and deal with. It. I mean, it's you say I'm going to go out and forage. I'm going to find this and that and find mushrooms, but half of those mushrooms will kill you yeah. or make you sick. So it's very unrealistic. There was a guy. Uh, well, I don't need to get into it, but yeah, I I, I do run into those guys all the time. The most important thing, I mean, really, you, you can't survive in that situation. The, the best example is what took place during that the Kosovo. Remember that the war in Kosovo with the Kurds and such? Um, there was one that see, I've read about the, it in history books, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a guy on YouTube that lived through that. He lived in a city that had been blockaded the whole time, so no supplies came in and nothing came out, and he documented this on YouTube. It's a little bit of a burden to listen to because it's subtitled. But he talks about what it was like to be in that, in that environment in an urban area <clears throat> in an apocalyptic hellhole where nothing's coming in and nothing's going out with roving bands and black markets and all of that. And what was important, and what he said, <clears throat> excuse me, what he said that if you were by yourself or solo, didn't have family or, or a group, you were a goner, that they would immediately come and converge and take what you had only way he survived is they had a big family and they had to have someone on guard all the time. So community is everything. If a guy thinks he's all prepped up and he's got a 50 cal and he's going to sit up in the bell tower by himself, you know, you got to sleep sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Community is important. That's why, you know, when I was, when we were looking for land, land is fine. Water's critical. Growing is critical. Fuel is critical. How are you going to heat yourself, heat the house and cook and have things that when you need them, if it's not being provided through the grid, but that just as important as having like-minded people around, you know, so community, you can trade, you can barter, you know, we're surrounded by water. We have unlimited supply of water for irrigation. For example, the whole Valley is organic, full of dairies. You know, I'm not a dairy man. I don't want to raise dairy cows and such, but I have other things that I could trade or barter for. So community is everything in that situation. Yeah. Oh, that it, it sounds like that cult might be the place to go. Like return to that. 
I feel hey good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the prodigal feels- son returns. Uh, yeah, turns out society yeah. sucks. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just come in here with a Lambo the other day. (laughs) (laughs) You came in on that helicopter with those hookers. Remember me? Yeah. Yeah. I was joking. It was a joke. Yeah, Yeah, Um, I don't know that the red carpet would be rolled out, to be honest. Uh, That sucks. But I mean, well, yeah. That's all right. Do you think you were, do you think you were, it was like one of those things where you, you didn't like it, but it was. On the whole, it shaped you as a better person. That's what it sounds like. It's yeah, funny. yeah, hundred percent. You know, ha- be, coming from coming from having that gr- good male influence, and s- there were so many skills in the group of men. Oh, that were, man. Everyone was blue collar. They were either concrete guys or roofers or construction or mechanics. My granddad was a mechanic. My dad was a general contractor, a builder. So oh. all of us just grew up with that. But we were rebuilding the engines on our cars on the weekends when we were fifteen and sixteen, and all those all those skills all those things that were just ordinary just ordinary to me how to butcher we used to cut our own meat we did all of our own canning uh built all of our own houses so it was very there was very heavy skill good skill sets and all that and i was really shocked when i left or when i left that environment into the world and started making friends with guys my age and they didn't they didn't know how to do anything I mean, I, I just, I did, I had a small bit of tools and toolbox and they thought it was like on God level for being able to yeah. repair and fix things. And compared to what my granddad, and what my dad could do, you know, I didn't know that much to be honest. Yeah, I was, well, my dad's Jewish, so I didn't really learn a whole lot, but it well, my, my like dad's an my electrician. Hands. Is that going to be important when the power grid's out or? Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. You could wire up stuff to like, uh, like potatoes. Yeah, you well, like yeah. run an entire yeah, well, house off of like the three. Yeah. No, they, they're a source of you turn yeah, on yeah, yeah, I get light like bulbs a, and stuff. Like five thousand potatoes. And <laughs> yeah. just wire them up. I'm moving out of Idaho, and, and I have a big yeah. coil of wire. Yeah, <laughs> will power uh, the world. I don't know how to steal, steal steal power off the I, off the mains. And I stripped the house of its wires, and now I'm going west. <laughs> I'm gonna, got a dream. Uh, <laughs> oh shit i ran out of gas you know man those all, i don't know about out there i don't think wages are as high but there's i, I have some young guys i've always encouraged guys they ask what should i do what should i get into should i go to college I'm like man go become a journeyman electrician yeah. i've got 20 22 year old guys that have done that and they're they're six figure incomes out here yeah, yeah but then you have to deal with um you know you get shocked and stuff around. you die you can't. Yeah. My dad's yeah. only had a couple of close calls where he's like, yeah, I think I could have died there. Very like he had one where he got <laughs> shocked, like wasn't wearing proper stuff, fell like 12 feet and landed on a platform. And then it was like a 50 foot drop below that. And it's like, well, I wouldn't <laughs> have like been born maybe death. or something like that. Would be, that would have sucked. And he did say it affected his uh, his sperm and it made his children super or something. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it is. You know, it's a cool he he definitely like. I think he's enjoyed it for the most part, but now that he's getting older, it's like, it's something you don't want to always have to, you know, be like working, you know, laboring that long or whatever. It's like, oh, my back hurts. And then it's like, you know, I can't say anything because I'm like, oh, my back hurts. I played video games for as, too long I was going to say, there's yeah. nothing I, worse I, for I, us I than just sitting in these goddamn chairs all day. I know. I, I, all day yeah. I was streaming. And I was just like, oh, like my pockets and my back's going to hurt so bad for the my other oh, job where man. I sit here. I'm like, oh, yeah. my life. There, my there life is, is so something hard. to be said about like using that's, the that's things that later, hurt. Man. Like my back never felt better until I started doing like squats and stuff. And then yeah. it's like it hurts like hell at first. And then. I mean, you're you're supposed to have um, muscles to like build, like support those well, bones big, and everything. I've got a big oh, head, thought, so it's like I need yeah. to be doing like those neck exercises where you put like a chain and uh, weights around. I'm like, oh, do those Tyson most of the time, things. As soon as like, I'm off camera, I just like, uh, you know, I can't support it too much longer, so it just kind of goes loose. What What do you think a guy evolves into after 50 years in a gaming chair? What does that look like on the back end? Have you ever seen uh, Wally? Those, like, oh, yeah. those yeah, super those fat blobs. guys that yeah. yeah. Their oh, bones yeah. don't even funny, meet yeah. at their joints. They're I'm just like my <laughs> little chair. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. I don't know. Yeah, there. probably. I guess we'll we'll find out in about twenty years. <laughs> See what, what's going yeah. on. Yeah, Some sort of anomaly. Maybe your yeah. skin will kind of like mesh into the chair. When you <laughs> yeah, just stand yeah. up, it'll just you pack it around with you. Yeah, I'll be like some sort of techno wizard when I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> my electronics melted to me. I'm techno shaman. 
I was, yeah, I'll probably, I assume I'll probably die in this chair and then I'll have one of those like gross you see online, like someone's selling used furniture and they've got like the death spot where like someone yeah. just kind of dissolves <laughs> into it. There's like a black stain on it. My I was saying, living room my- has a red spot in the middle of the carpet. Someone got, fell down and died, oh, and laid there yes, for a month. Oh, I bought the house from a guy that was like 95, and he died in the oh. house. And there is a very questionable giant red splotch. It's like it's like dark, dark, like wine red. And it's you bought it, it from him. It's right there in in the master bedroom. No, he was here, and he was a very Squatters famous. Squatters rights. Like, no, oh, I actually I don't want to say because then they'll find yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah. The very house, famous. Yeah. What? He was a, he was a <laughs> famous, famous <laughs> architect, dentist. and he uh, yeah, oh. de- he was a famous dentist, world famous dentist, and um, yeah, I think he died in that room in my master bedroom. I was uh, yeah, I was like talking a heart attack. It's cozy in there. He doesn't bother I, us. He was a nice guy. If I die like unceremoniously, like I assume all my belongings will be gifted out to patrons and subs and what have you. Yeah. But it'd be better if I piled them all up and then I just kind of died over them. That way my death <laughs> spot spread amongst my yeah. belongings. So it's like not only am I getting a, a gumball machine, How it's got selfish like a weird is, red is, mark. Is this like, no, you should yeah. pirate like... Just like I want to be burned with all burn my, no. yeah, I want to be burned with I mean, all like, my awesome possessions. I, you know, I, I find room. myself as like a herald of these collections. You know, I'm just temporarily holding them until I, you know, pass them on to the next. So I don't want to burn them or to destroy them or anything. You know, I treat all my antiques with a certain amount of respect. That's good. Also, a lot of curses I want to avoid from these old shit. I haven't, you know. I don't do anything to avoid that. I wasn't part of a cult, but I'm very superstitious about, you know, certain, uh, you know, open up this. Is there going to be a genie or is there going to be a demon? You know, it's, you never know. But, um, dude, I, 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 my what? stomach is so upset and I can't stop I, eating them. I got these like, what they're like this? cinnamon Altoids. Yeah, dude, my, is, my mom used to eat those like crazy. Dude. I know what you mean, dude, because I've got no control with like <laughs> gum or... My stomach is mints. 100% empty and it is full of yeah. just cinnamon. It is not, it is not happy. Uh, my roommate just bought a mega pack of nicotine gum and he was like, here, he's like seven pieces. And I'm like on an empty stomach with an energy drink. I was just like, oh, I'll try this, you know, make me better at video games. <laughs> And all day today and yesterday, I'm just like, it feels like I ate a battery or something. You know, it doesn't feel. Oh. I'm not yeah, going to survive. Week, last weekend, I went by the local store and the Girl Scouts were out selling those Girl Scout cookies. Oh. Same. I bought, I bought eight boxes. Oh. What'd you get? What's the lineup? Well, like nine, I like nine. I like the Thin Mints for myself. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. The thin Mints. Bro fist worth- to that. Bro yeah, the fist. Rest, the rest of them are trash. But I get uh, the no thin Samoas. Mint. Samoas in the freezer, pretty good. You know, I can't get with the Samoas, but I'll try a frozen one. That might be good. Yes, yeah, so frozen Samoas mm-hmm. and frozen Thin Mints. Oh, you know, I, oh, I, yeah, I the, the Thin Mint is the best. But those, I, I, I'll open the pack out here. I was working on it. And I eat one. I eat the whole box. I'm like halfway through the box. My stomach is upset. I'm like, oh, I don't feel very good, but I still just keep eating. I eat the whole thing. Hell ate yeah. two boxes in one day. Well, it's like you hit a wall and it's like, I can't feel any worse, probably. Yeah. You're always wrong. <laughs> I'm already going to regret it. You might yeah. as well go <laughs> all out. Pile it in. Yeah. 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 I, Get your I, hand to the plow, man. I really like Samoas, but I had a... You know when you get food poisoning on something, you throw up, you can't eat it for a while? Yeah. I had oh, something yeah. like that, but worse, where uh, one time when I was a kid, uh, a rat had gotten into like our pantry and shit all over a bunch of open Samoas. And oh, I'm pretty sure I ate Christ. a smo with like rat shit on it. And when I realized what I had done, I was like, I'm probably good. Like, I don't, I'm never going to risk that because there's a little coconut topping and there's like a little, oh, a little chocolate. No, 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 no. Probably some sort of rat disease. So. Rat shit. I, but I, I'm ready for the apocalypse. I'll eat anything. I'll eat rat shit, dog shit, whatever. <laughs> sort of nutrients. I got my dog back there. He's not really, he won't be a great provider, you know, or survivalist. You know, he won't be able to scare anything off, but. Do you have any? Do you have any like Total big meat. dogs? I feel like you'd have like a threatening, yeah. like kind of uh, maybe a, like a mountain lion, Great Pyrenees or something. or something. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Carilion bear dogs around here. Oh, uh, Russian wolf. F bear. Uh, no, we have, uh, we, yeah, <laughs> we have a. Um, yeah, you don't know about Carilion bear dogs? Yeah, it sounds no. like something out of sci-fi. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, that sounds like a. Yeah, add, add that to your list. Uh, we have a no, we just have one dog that's a, a Australian Shepherd mix. Oh, nice. oh, they have like um, set like different eye colors, aren't those the dogs that have the two different eyes? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Sometimes. awesome. Not always. Yeah, there's but... a lot of those dogs wow. around here because of and all the cattle, cattle ranches. You know, Karelian cool. Bear Dog I... sounds a lot cooler than it looks. I, I imagine right. I was going to be seeing the dog from like the Sandlot or something. I don't want to know how to. I yeah, don't know how to spell Karelian. I'm scary. scared to try to Google it and embarrass it, They kind of look cute. Like the first picture is yeah, just like, like, like in a his panda. little head. Like, oh, you got a tooth. It's a lot scarier if it's like yeah. dark and it's burying its teeth. You know, it's like a. That's anything. I've, I went out to my garage. Get this. This is a real homeowner issue. Where you uh, keep issue. your dog. No, I went out to my garage <laughs> and there, there was a mouse terrified the oh! shit out of me I've, i have never had a mouse in my in in my abode a ever field mouse okay well yeah. that's that's and like at, way at different night, <laughs> at night no well i i turned on the lights and i see it right and so i'm like damn dude that thing's huge like it's a huge mouse because i just you sure wasn't a rat it's i saw it for rat. like a second yeah. and i was like oh yeah it's a big ass rat it's like the world's biggest mouse and so I, I got all the, you know, the <laughs> peanut butter and the little trap things, and I placed them everywhere because he had been shitting all over my damn yard work gloves, all all, all uh, on top <laughs> of them and in them and stuff. I was like, that's uncouth <laughs> behavior. So I, I, you know, trapped him. And it turns out, yeah, he was like tiny. Like I, I like panic saw him and thought, like, damn, that's like a giant New York City rat. And it turned out to be this little, this little guy, cute little thing. Yeah, with your eyes. And then I found out it's actually really unethical and horrible to have to then kill a mouse that's stuck to an adhesive pad and has been stuck on it for like 12 hours. You can get those metal oh, traps and just shut it and you just take it to a park and release them. But. And let it loose? Oh, I was yeah. thinking kind of like like the guillotine seems so violent and everything, but it's honestly probably one of the more humane ways of killing someone we've it's come up with. cut through clean. I think like a, a the mouse trap probably would have been the way to go. I think a little. I caught a, I caught a skunk in one of those have a heart those traps that you relocate with. Oh, with. that's tough. Oh yeah, oh, a skunk. That's a yeah. skunk was in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I came out and it's the skunk was in it, and I'm looking. I'm like, how do how do you deal with that? Because it's gonna get me if I go over there, right? So I I took a big a tarp and I threw the tarp over it, carefully put it back in the truck, and then relocated it and just let it out. And it finally walked out and went back in the woods. Did he oh, swear? Right? It did not spray. No. What yeah, nice. you lucker dog? Yeah, if you you could, if you pick them up by the tail, they won't spray you. Oh, that's it's that's just like a weird. Still... <laughs> you can shove your face right no, in there. No, but I feel like spray. I've seen like spray. videos no, of they, people they holding they skunks by the legs. tail. They can't get a purchase with their rear legs. They can't spray you. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Yeah, but that also seems that, like isn't that where the spray comes from? Yeah, it comes from a gland in the somewhere in the back. Yeah, yeah so that's like a that's like. Water. Yeah. If you look down the the barrel of the gun, it won't shoot you. Type thing. Like, what if it does? Like, what if no, it can? I, I, but I think yeah. it's probably like an actual like. I mean, maybe so like, almost like yeah. you put your finger in the barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I'm gonna cork it up really it. quick. Yeah. 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 Cool. What stinky thumb? I can deal with that. You know, <laughs> yeah. put some tomato juice on it or whatever. Yeah. I, I just feel them. like I would pick up the one skunk that's like really into Pilates or something. Like you can, <laughs> yeah. you, you like, can fucking yeah, contort and do it. Yeah, you get me right in the eyes. There's a there's a guy at a bar, or he he's uh, like very. It's kind of sad because there's a guy in Indianapolis who has a degland albino skunk. That's a really cool. Like you go, you go to the bar and like you, he though has made it his entire personality. Where like. I just saw him walk by and I was like, oh my God, is that, is that a skunk? Two of my friends, and he heard me, was like, actually, you're correct. Like, uh, they, not many people think it's a skunk. A lot of people think it's a ferret. And he yeah. came over, he's like, here, hold it, and put it on me. Sweetest little thing that, like, it just latched right on you. And then oh, a girl walked by and was like, oh my God, what is that? And he's like, I'll be right back. I have to go tell them what it is. And <laughs> yeah. I thought that'd be like a one-time thing I'd see him. I've seen him like every time I ever go guy. out. He's, he's just at the bar with his skunk. And I'm like, is that even allowed? You know, whatever. I'm not going to narc on this guy. But it's That's... like, it's it's degland. I guess it's fine. But I, I know like people with ferrets and stuff, they that don't reeks spray, of a guy but they, that... they have like a stinky gland. Like they have a, I know ferrets are like kind of foul smelling. Because they have some gland issue, but you can get them degland. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's like decline a cat. Like, should you really degland? <laughs> like, I feel like deglanding would be painful. I don't know. Remember I, when we were making fun of that guy Charisma on Command? Uh, that sounds really familiar. He was that guy I, that basically yeah. he makes all those like how to be an alpha male guy videos. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. 
that I've never heard of a guy that needs to watch Charisma and Command until you yeah, brought more. up guy that walks around with with skunk. skunk. Yeah. That, that would skunk. be That's in a his video. conversational you that opening. Be- you need to get a skunk or some sort yeah. of defanged yeah. animal. I mean, dude, it, it works, but like it it's, like, it's not like you're going to sleep with skunk guy. You're just going to be like, that's a yeah. skunk. He'll take a picture, you know. Because yeah. I, even I was drunk. I'm like, dude, look, that skunk's on my Instagram. And he's like, get out of here, kid. Like, I already got yeah, you. Uh, you're, you're distracting the babes. They want to see the skunk action. I'm like, whatever, dude. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I would have a hard time now catching dude. a skunk in a glue trap. Or something, you know. Those people that adopt unusual animals are they're always a little off to me. Yeah. It, it's yeah. it's definitely it takes a certain type of person to have like an exotic animal and make it's like it. those reptile and snake people as well. Yeah, I've I've always found them I, I had a snake once oh, when I was a kid, those. and even my dad and I both were like, What are we doing? Like what is You had a snake? We, I had a boa constrictor that we called Boa Fett, and I was like What's going on? Like we yeah. neither of us really like snakes. I think it was just a like how do weird... you snuggle up to that? I think it was like a weird I, divorced dad. Like, this is cool, right? Like, yeah. we, oh, yeah, cool. I could be the snake dad. Yeah, like, come over to my yeah. house. I got a little snake or something. I don't know. Or, like, his friend was like, I I don't know why I have this snake. Do you want it? It was like, it didn't bite or anything, and it was kind of cool. But then it's like a reptile person. You know the type. Like, there, it's definitely a specific type of person that's like... I don't really like reptiles. You know, I don't like their cold, you know, cold blooded. Like, cold it's blooded. hard to, you can't gauge their emotions, really. I mean, if maybe. If you're going to have an emotionless animal, you might as well be like a bird guy because at least they talk to you. Or fish. Yeah. Or, or fish. Yeah, you see fish. Those, yeah. Did you see all those iguanas falling out of the trees when it got cold? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Those, are, those are cool as hell. My, my mom yeah. used to have a pet iguana. That's uh, cold, dude. That's all. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's in the Everglades, right? They, like, go up, up in the tree and then it gets cold yeah. and they just. Yeah. They lose Falling their grip a branch. and fall. <laughs> they, just, they just completely freeze. Like, uh, um, my mom used to have a pet iguana in her, I probably talked about this, plant shop. And she just let it free it roam cool? in there. And so she would hear someone, like, upstairs, like, move a plant and be like, ah, and, like, break something. Because, like, no one wants to just, you know, in Indiana, see an iguana out of nowhere. But she no, just has, like, a out. lot of obscure yeah. animals. Awesome. Not because she, like, liked it, but because someone's like, I don't know what to do with this. And she's like, no, I'll try. And then They're eventually... They, they swim, too. Yeah, they swim. Like, and they can yeah. dive. They can dive, like, pretty deep. I watch, like, some, um, you know, like... I was in Earth. Mexico uh, in Mexico at a resort with a pool, and I couldn't believe it. The first iguana I saw, it, it jumped in and swam across the pool and walked right by the table. Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. And, they, like, they can Wait, when were you pretty in Mexico? Big. For my honeymoon, our honeymoon, I think it was. Oh, okay. Like recently? Or no, twenty years ago. Oh, okay. Sam, stop dating him. What are you yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying wrong to with you. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out this guy's life, like uh, timeline. Is you said you're 53, right? 53. Okay. Yeah. All right. Shut up. Okay, oh, Sam, I, I, that would be 33. Yeah, yeah. Years ago. Wait, don't you have yeah. like a like? How old's your daughter? Uh, my daughter, Sweet Loaf, is five, and Jack is 18. You had a kid at 50-something, like 48? 30, or, I guess it was, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh. You should have children when you're young, Sam. Yeah, I, ha- I had them, I think, kind of young, but not that... That's, not you know, not quite as young as I. My parents uh, I had have. me when they were like twenty two, and I and I, sometimes I think about that. And I'm like, you know, you get a pass for a lot of stuff because, like, what the what would I do yeah, if well, I had a yeah. child right would, now sprung on me? I waited I the be, perfect. Would just the perfect the range. Yeah, I would just be. <laughs> I, would, I would just be like, you sit, chill out, dude. Like, hang yeah, out back yeah, there. Yeah. Like, play some video I'll games. Touch- I'll touch the shrine. Yeah, don't All touch right. my shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I totally get it now. I, I get. I understand a lot. You know, it gives perspective. I never realized, like, I kind of realized that the other day because I've, I've talked about it, but, like, I have an older brother, like, that my mom had when she was, like, 17, and then me, they had when my dad was, like, 23, and he said that the other day because I was like, oh, I just don't feel like I'm, like, an adult yet, and he's like, well, you know, I had you, like, a year or two ago from, like, your time in your life, I'm like, oh, fuck, like, <laughs> yeah. that is frightening, that is really scary stuff, like, I would be completely just, dis- you know, I'd probably I'd have to rise to the occasion but every, every person's different dude i 
Yeah. You know, if you look up like what Alexander the Great was doing at your age, you would you would cave in upon that yourself. It doesn't matter, dude. That was that so does long matter. ago. No, it, it doesn't. So, I, it, I get it, but like people were also like he probably had a kid when he sat old, you know, he probably had twenty kids. Uh maybe. You know. Yeah. Okay, what it's, about Jay Biebs? What about Bieber? Got some Bieber? Yeah. Different Canadian. <laughs> they they grow up quicker. The cold air makes them cold grow up quicker. <laughs> I've got soft Indiana air, so it's like, you know, I've got all the seasons and whatnot. It's, it breeds a different, I, I I mean, I've always been a late bloomer, so I think I'll probably have kids when I'm like 50. Yeah. 51, 52. Yeah, yeah. 40s. I don't know. I want, I've always wanted kids, but now I'm like, I'm not going to be ready for a you while. You got to make a colony in case shit goes down. Eh? Yeah, I know. I need to, I need workers and I don't want them to be young, young when, you know, apocalypse happens. Cause then it's like, wow, yeah. now I'm just doing double duty. Like I'd rather yeah, than be exactly. the age of. I got two daughters, but my nephews, boys, those oh, are my your workers. nephews are boys. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. they're what though, like four? Yeah, but like Would what? You... What age? I mean, Cody, you, you can answer 10. this. You you got like a you have a son that is like f- twice the man. If me and Poob and Brian got conjoined into one man, your son would probably still have like three times as many skills as us. Like. What what like uh what age can you start using them for manual labor and stuff like cleaning out the gutters and yeah, and, and doing prime sleep hours? Four five four or five. Yeah, four. you can put them to work in the berry fields at five. Yeah, uh, I need you to know, get the some berry field. Used, the English chimney sweeps used to have kids four and five because they could fit down and scrub all the chimneys out and in, in the factory. rope around their feet. <laughs> rope around <laughs> their feet. Yeah. Yeah. It did, yeah. My uh, uh, my stepdad, he talks about like we don't talk a ton, but he he's like mentioned like he he was raised on a dairy farm from when he was very young. He had to do like a lot of weird stuff. We saw a lot of animals die. Had to like deliver cows and shit. But his dad was Amish until he was like fourteen, so he had that weird. I mean, it's like almost cult like raising of yeah. like community and hard work and all this stuff. And now, I guess my step grandpa, he's like in his 70s but he still will he's the type of guy that like when they come over he immediately just starts working on random shit around the house or it's like that needs fixed i'll go up there like it's it definitely breeds like a certain work ethic where it's like even though he left when he was so young it hasn't stopped him you know because it was in his foundational age or whatever yeah my granddad was granddad was the same way he worked worked the entire time he worked he, he retired at a normal age with a pension and Sat around the house for about three months, then went back to work. What he did before? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm he worked at the forestry service, right? He was a mechanic. Oh, he was a mechanic. He, he was a mechanic. You know, I, I mean, there's, there's always been, you know, my generation and my the boomers and all that. There was always nobility and just you know being a worker, being working all the time. But you know, I, I don't know that that's the way really. I mean, I'm in. A, I, I can say that now. I'm in a position now where I don't have to go and punch a clock like so many other people do, but. And there's way more to life than that. It's uh, I, I don't know that that's where it's at. I, I don't, I don't get down on younger people that, you know, my, my dad and his generation, like, oh, these, the Zoomers are lazy and they have a poor work ethic, yada yada yada. I'm like, I know that. I think they're just looking at you and your broke down body, and you're still working, <laughs> and they don't want that life. And I don't, I don't blame them, man. I don't want that either. I, there's several people in my family that I've looked at as, as fine examples of what not to do. I, yeah, it's not the truth. I had to watch my uncle basically, uh, his shoulders and hips and everything gave out on him in his, in his early fifties from just working way too hard. And it, uh, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. sucks. Like watching someone that like, uh, their mind is still there, but the body is not able to keep up with it. And not just like in a general aging way, but in a way where it's like, you can tell he's, he's like, what the hell? I want to be outside. I want to be doing stuff. And I can't, you know, that yeah. sucks more than anything. I like, know how that is. dude. My grandpa did it right. All the time. My grandpa worked for the state and then he would just, he was a weekend warrior, you know? So he would, he would do shit on the weekends, but during the week he was at a nice little desk you know, yeah. hang back. You probably had a little Sterling fan thing like you got. Yeah, you know, you're taking two. it easy. Yeah, two. that's how you know you made it when you got. How's his shoulders? You got two How's his shoulders. Yeah. What, what's your what's yeah. what's your rotator cuff like, Cody? You, you still got your shoulder movement? Oh, I'm still. I'm good, man. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, yeah. I, got, I got out of construction just in time. My granddad. It was funny. He was still alive when I was 
when my YouTube channel was kind of up and going and and I used to try to explain to him, you know, I was I was doing saw milling and stuff. Wait, 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 wait. You said your grandfather was still alive when you had your YouTube channel going. Yeah. How old was he? He lived into his nineties. Oh. Whew. But Jesus. my mom had my mom had me when she was eighteen. Oh. Oh, you guys have you're all close together and stuff because you got the the whole the cult thing. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, married early, had kids early. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I broke that mold. I mean, I had kids older, but so yeah. I would I was uploading videos and and I would go over there and show him. You know, I'd show it because he had similar interests. He was getting older and couldn't go up and do that anymore. He just never could understand it. He's like, well. Don't, how come how, how come you don't have a job? And I'd say, well, this is my job, Granddad. I make I make these videos, and he'd just shake his head, just never could understand it. Yeah, I've I've explained it to my my grandparents and stuff. Like in in the most basic TV terms, I'm like, you know, like the guy that you're looking at TV and how there's like commercials. <laughs> like Those commercials pay that guy, and it's the exact yeah. same way on the on the computer. And yeah. their eyes are glazed over. They're like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Yeah. It's a lot easier now. I mean, you know that, Sam. I mean, like when you told people you were a YouTuber like five or six years ago, they, you know, people would come up and say, you're crazy. well, how's that little YouTube thing you're doing? That Oh, that yeah. little cute little YouTube thing yeah. you're doing, you know, like discounting you or making fun of you that you don't have a real job. And, you know, they don't say that anymore, do they? Well, I mean, we really don't have like a real job. Like, it's no, it's not not, real. not in the same way. It's a lot of work, but it's also like way better than having like an, uh, an actual but like it's office. Still, job. like a complete alternative to having a job. And I I know you mean like where people yeah. will be like, you know, they'll ask me like, oh, so when are you going back to like your job or whatever? I'm like, I don't. You know, hopefully <laughs> yeah. not for a while. Yeah. Like, Why would I? My, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's so it's hard even for like my younger family, you know comparatively to like understand what i do but luckily like now at least like it is like sammy talked about it's like when you start making money they kind of understand it more or they don't understand it more but they accept it and they're like well whatever as long as you're happy like you know they just kind of like i will never understand this but you know have fun with that but there's always that tint of like it's not a job you know it's it, what it is is it's jealousy because i don't have to put up with an asshole boss or go to a shitty place and work well, with people they, I, I don't get, work they don't with. get jealous i have a put up with an asshole boss and all this stuff so they oh, yeah. they get okay. that a little yeah, bit you, of a, you still come in <laughs> griping i show them a picture of you and they go yeah, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i think i still work down at the mill or whatever yeah, yeah. i could get you a job if you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they try, <laughs> they're trying to help you out like i can ask around at work i'm sure we have room for you and i'm just, no it's okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. you want to make it seem worse than it is yeah 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 for sure that way they don't start going money me money me <laughs> yeah. oh man yeah but, yeah it's no, funny it's it's funny when you it, we're around a lot of people and and you know in the past there's always would you ask a young kid, Hey, what do you want to do? Oh, I want to be a vet or I want to go to law school or I want to be a doctor, this and that. But anymore, it's hilarious. Even being at my, you know, being 53 and out of touch young people, that's what they want to do. And so when we have, when we have dinner parties or we'll have people over for different things, all the kids come over, you know, and want to know, I want to be YouTube. You tell me about YouTube. So I'm sitting around there like the Pied Piper talking about how yeah. to edit videos and yeah. all of that. So yeah. That's kind of fun, you know, to stay, it helps you stay young and it's fun fun to be kind of relevant irrelevant on the cutting edge of stuff. I enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely. actually had a we had like a, a small little thing planned for this exact conversational change here. I have used you bathroom claim, really bad. I'll be right yeah, back, but you pee. get into this. Right. This is more you and Brian. I'll, I'll, yeah. No, because you were like, yeah. you're I'm I'm hip and oh, wait. stuff. Thug thug shaker. Oh, so this is actually <laughs> thug a real shaker? Test. Is, wait, why did you say I don't know what thug seeker is. I think I'm. Uh, uh, what we were gonna do is we have we have what? Zoomer terms, Cody, and we're oh, gonna see if okay. you knew what the Zoomer terms were because thug shaker. Okay. I don't know what thug shaker is though. Do you know what that is? Do you know the definition of that? Brian, that was you, Brian. Do I? Yeah. Know the, do you, the, oh, no. Alexa, what's a thug shaker? You Are just, you trying to shop for thumb shaker? 
N- no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that you don't know. Alexa that's, doesn't know. That's I don't poob know. That's poop slang that I don't understand yet. Yeah. Th- All right. So we have probably some... like a. I feel like I would assume a a, a black dude's ass. Let's see. A thug thug shaker. shaker. Let's look this up. Is that what it is? Uh. That is exactly what it is. Yeah, actually, a black dude's ass. Damn, we never would have oh. got that. All right, so that's a little tester. That's oh, what, okay. Yeah, what what we have okay. is we have some Zoomer terms, and we're gonna see how hip you are. Okay. okay. So you define. Let's see, fam. You know what fam is? Fam. Yeah, F A M. The easy one. I would it's say fam one. would be. It's my family. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. It, but you fam. can also I'm it's hang- also like used interchangeably with like bro. But I'm yeah. hanging I'm hanging with a fam tonight. Yeah. Dude, yeah. we <laughs> you yeah. are gonna mess up your son. We're gonna we're gonna get you yeah. a, a nice concise sentence to say that's packed yeah. with zoomer terminology. <laughs> with zoomer shit. So the, yeah. the, pro- the problem, Sam, is I'm I'm like fifteen months behind the curve. You know, I'm picking up on the lingo and then it's already it's already out of vogue uh, when I'm saying it and it mocks me. To be yeah. fair, I think fam's already dead. Yeah, too. fam's like, dead. Fam's, fam's, fam's been dead. Fam's been dead. <laughs> yeah. We're using an outdated textbook for these questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm bucking. Well, I, I Googled these really quickly uh, earlier <laughs> while my kids were in the tub. What's the hippest word yeah, I could think I, of? I all Googled fam. hip Google words. That. All right, what about uh, have you ever heard sip tea? Oh, yeah. Yeah, to sip deceptive. tea. That one's deceptive. Does that have anything to do with tea bagging? No, it does not. <laughs> okay. But I, don't know. I like that you know prison terminology. Or no, that's that's also from video games. Never mind. Yeah, I, I, I learned that, that's I learned Xbox that in Apex era. Oh, okay. You're a game guy. I was oh, like, yeah. damn, did did you do a stretch in uh, uh... Damn, I will tell you, man, it's sad. So I grew up with the Atari twenty six hundred, right? You know, the mm-hmm. joystick and all of that. I played oh, that, I wore those things out. So I missed oh, all of the the whole game. Like I can't play with the keyboard. So you got me into playing Tarkov. Like, I mean, how hard can it be, right? Yeah. It, yeah, it was not happening with the keyboard. So I, I went on to Steam and I hooked up a controller and got like some base. It, it's it's sad, but it, but the but I have learned to rat, uh, and I exit wow. camp and I can leave with loot. That's what it's all about. Yeah, That's so what I it's just, all about. I, I, yeah. I, just, I, just, I follow your videos and and I and I do okay with it. Well, I'm glad to have been of That's service. Great. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. R- ratting is, ratting is, is the way. Exit well, camping is very effective too. Oh yeah, well, I mean that's like uh, it takes less effort. I think it's really. It's like the dark arts. You don't talk about. Yeah, this, you're not. Yes. Yeah, you it's one of those things that. you're not supposed to boast out loud, but yeah, everybody does it. Exit it, camping. It, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one of those things that even like all the people that I know that play seriously, they still do it. Like sometimes they're like, I just had a successful run, but uh, I am here at the exit. 10 minutes early. Yeah. I'll just sit here for a bit. See if anybody else is rolling around the corner. No reason to get in a hurry. Yeah. But no, sip tea has nothing to do with tea bagging. It's actually, I, I, I don't know what sip tea is. It's uh, it's an alternative to spilling the tea, meaning you're sitting back and listening to gossip rather than partaking. Okay, up the gossip. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So if okay. someone's spilling the tea, it's like mm-hmm. it's like they're gossiping, and then you're just there. Then you're that's sipping. An old term. Yeah, you're an old term. That's, term. Term. that's an older term for sure. This is like a boomer term revamped. Yeah. Okay, yeah. beautified. By All right. Next Spill- one is is spilling the tea. Yeah. Boomer term. Yeah. I don't know. Spilling. Yeah, spilling the tea is pretty. Is like I'm pretty sure that's an old term. That seems like that's that depression like era. It seems like yeah, something Mennonites I, would say or something. That's like yeah, yeah. like spill the tea, lass. At the the black circle. Say that I know some men and nights. I can ask. Or, or sweet tea or something. But. Oh, sweet tea. Oh, that's, yeah. that that's good, good stuff. The nectar Wait, of the hey. gods. Yeah. What the hell's up it's with like a, uh, with the like north up there, dude? You ask for tea and they just bring you like root water in a glass. No sugar. I, I don't know about that sweet tea. That that's that's disgusting. It's way too sugary. Oh, I love some sugary, yeah. sweet, uh, some Kentucky sweet tea yeah. from Wait, Grandma. Right. Yeah, when your teeth are like furry after you've been drinking it, you know they're getting <laughs> eaten, eaten away. Yeah, yeah that's oh that's some good stuff. You have a big, oh, big when you yellow look at the smile map after. and you can see the healthy parts of the country and the unhealthy and the colors. <laughs> and the green, and you guys are like orange or red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up in the Appalachians, like the um, Appalachia. yeah, where they put Mountain Dew in the bottles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the life yeah. expectancy the there is like sixty-five or something. It's like it's, yeah. way lower. <laughs> my, Second only to Russia. Yeah. My my 
Kentucky grandma, she is like miraculously, she's in her late eighties. She's still kicking. And she like multiple times has had to go to the doctor where they're like, you need to like, she'll have to like get a pacemaker put in or something. And she won't eat the hospital food. She's like, I, I won't eat it. I won't eat it. And my, my family will have to bring her like Cracker Barrel. And she'll be <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I'll, like, I'll <laughs> only eat like shit. chicken and dumplings oh, and yeah. sweet tea. I want she's that like, I don't want chicken that. Chicken fried steak. Yeah, like and... she still yeah. eats like that all the time. And I, but I swear to God, she makes the best chicken and dumplings and sweet tea, you know, I, I'll ever eat. And like her, her sister bread. makes like sweet potato casserole. And they're like... <laughs> You know, the doctor's like, please don't eat that. And like, <laughs> yeah. they're somehow still kicking. I'm like, it's miraculous. It really is. Mm. Like for everything I try to be Don't healthy, she'll probably outlive me or something. So I had a, <laughs> my grandfather's sister smoked cigarette, like smoked specifically, I think like Marlboro's or something from the time that she was 12 and she lived to be like 93 and I remember Some people just have lungs of steel, man. I don't know. Marlboro be, sent her a steel lung. like a care package. It was like a big like Marlboro box and it had like a jacket and stuff. And she had like a big Marlboro trucker cap that they were like, thanks for like 70 years of fucking 70 years of patronage or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's good to be man. recognized for that, though, because my grandpa, I think, was very much like from the time he was like 10, started smoking and he died a horrible, gruesome death. But then my grandma has outlived him and her next husband who are like, oh, like, oh, I smoke. It don't hurt me. But she is like, uh, you know, I'm hoping since she's my blood, I get that, you know, those genetics. Or it's just like uh, it's almost like their overpowering will to like, I ain't going to die. Yeah. Like somehow, <laughs> uh, you know, prevails. I feel yeah. like that yeah. spiteful it's, anger. It's willpower. It's, it's, not, all it's not spiteful, though, because. My my mom's mentioned that before. We're like some people in our family, they've been on the deathbed. Like I don't want to go. Like she's like you don't want to be. She told me that when I was younger. Like you when you're like it's a kind of weird thing to talk about. I guess when you're younger, but it's like when you're going to go out. Like don't don't be like weird about it. You know, like don't be fighting it like crazy and like I don't want to die. All this stuff. She's like you just kind of kind of accept that kind of thing i'm like okay no oh, what a what and a beautiful she, lesson then, from then your she mom. put a How battery you? in my mouth yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You> go, <laughs> now eat this rat poison we're going to heaven i'm like okay whatever <laughs> yeah huh. i think it was, two, I was one <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. one day you're gonna die little baby <laughs> okay and you just gotta be okay with that because that's just what happens get over it yeah hey wait here's here's a good question for you cody does your um you got that that five-year-old my daughter's right behind mine's like about to turn five yeah um you know like you seem probably to have like a pretty good structured home life i'm sure having a kid at at like 50 you're you you have a better idea of how to shape a person's mind and stuff so they they turn out um they turn out like upstanding members of society and stuff like that but does your kid ever say weird like what you would consider maybe evil type stuff is that like a normal course of, of growing up or, or do oh, I have brother, trouble on my we, hands? We are, we are tre treading the, the wine pat or what is it? Treading the same grapes and absolutely. <laughs> I don't know where she comes up with this stuff. I think she, she comes up with it from her gamer brother. If I had to guess. Oh, huh. yeah. Maybe they're I don't gamer, know, their man. gamer it's, father. It's, it's are any other gamers in your house? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I. It's not me though. Like I, <laughs> I, my kid's learning this shit on her own. It's it's off the top of her head. You do get yeah. No, loud. I have the I have the same thing, especially yeah. right now when she turned five. Just random crazy things. Like where in the world did you? I mean, we're pretty. We we know where she's at. We know what she's watching. You know, we control that stuff. I don't know where it comes. But it just comes out of the ether or what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's we, just the female nature, Sam. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Are you sure? Did, like, did you I hear some of the shit? Yeah. I was, I was about to say, I, I went on a camping trip with my, my dad and, and uh, my brother with uh, my brother's kids. And I, I brought um, my daughter and like on the car ride, it was just me and her. And she's a little bit more vocal about stuff when, when uh, my wife's not around. Cause uh, mm. Abby's really the iron fist of the family. I kind of will just talk about whatever. And, um, she it's like really quiet in the car and she just goes you know she's in the like little seat behind me and she's like hey uh dad and i go yeah honey she goes have you ever seen like a video of like a like a kid getting hit by a car on a bike and then like the kid dies and i go no i i haven't i haven't seen anything like that 
And she goes, well, can you, can you like look it up on your phone so I could see it? Like, could you find like a video like that? And I'm like, no, no, you're not going to, I'm not going to go out of my way to find your weird murder porn. You freak. What's wrong with you? That is so funny. Our daughter's the same way. If, if you're, anyone has to get like stitches or cut or there's a wound or an injury of an animal or person, man, she's all over it. In it. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Wanting yeah. to see it and all, all over it. Oh, dude, you get her a little box of uh, of band aids. They love band aids, dude. We have, we have. Uh, she she puts them on everything. I got yeah. two on me right now. She's stuck on. Yeah, <laughs> it could be a through and through gunshot, and they will try to like. <laughs> so, they will take like the tiniest little band aid meant for like a pinky finger and like put it over <laughs> something <laughs> bleeding <Exactly>. horrifically. <laughs> yeah. App- apply pressure here. I'll, I'll get help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Stop trying to she, she puts yeah. an Elsa frozen band aid on my <laughs> yeah. on my gunshot wound. Don't pull the knife out. Keep it there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, in the yeah, apocalypse, was... you might want to bring her and her band aids with you. You leave the other two. Yeah, she's. <laughs> I think she might have the grit for it. Yeah. 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 She would be you're like about um, to really she... enjoy what you're gonna see out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that kid by a bike is yeah. <laughs> You're about to see some crazy. You ever seen me eat a kid? Your okay. dad needs his sanity, <laughs> so you're gonna sit on my shoulders, and I'm gonna blindfold myself, and you just tell me what to do, right? Tell me again. <laughs> Yeah, she was on a tear for a while about skinning things, and I was like, "All right, oh. bro, like, let's calm down with this a little bit." <laughs> we had to stop watching certain shows because, uh, like, had skinning. In I, it. I, no, not like it was anything like that, but like Dexter's Lab, like the old Dexter's Lab, it, they just say stupid a lot, and so just which is fine. Th- yeah, which is fine, but. I don't know when they start directing like angry words and mean words like that towards people while talking about skinning stuff. That's not a good combination. Yeah. You just don't yeah. want to get your feelings hurt. Yeah, I hear it enough from yeah. your mom. Stop. <laughs> yeah, that's what he stupid. Oh, yeah. little Abby, stupid, stupid. <laughs> No, yeah, she watches that that show, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and she turns oh, into. Yeah. She likes the old guy, Eustace. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. The old guy that's constantly berating this poor dog and screaming at him and stuff. And so, um, yeah, kids, oh, like, I feel house like they'll going. see <laughs> pretty much. <yeah. laughs> Stupid <And> dog. Kids, <laughs> kids yeah. will see, like, a scene in a show and, like, they don't get that someone's the antagonist. Like, someone's the bad no. guy. They'll watch it and just yeah. be like, "Whoa, that was cool what that person just did." I, I have a, I have an early memory of when I was like really young, parodying like a Adam Sandler movie where a guy at one point's like, "Are you grabbing my ass or something?" And I was like, you know, everyone in the room laughed. I'm like, okay, that's funny. And at one point, like th- the next day, we're playing a game, and I just like was like, "Oh, like what are you like like grabbing my ass?" And like I remember, like the room just falls silent, and it's one of those things where I feel like now, where I'm like, I get that. Like my dad was a young dad, and it just seems like a move where he's like, "It's something you do, like go put soap in your mouth." And I went in the bathroom, and we didn't have a bar of soap; we just had hand soap. And I was just like, "Ugh!" And I put like a pump of liquid soap in my mouth. And he came in there, was like, "No!" Like, "Oh my god!" And so I never had to go through that again. But I remember being like. Like, I, I don't know if it's more I remember him telling me that or, like, I feel like I, I, I just, like, it's so yeah, easy to, when you're a kid, like, pick up on stuff where it's like, oh, other people find this funny or, like, it's not bad when they say it. Why would it be bad if you yourself did it? And you say it. Yeah. It's yeah. confusing. It's confusing for a kid. Hmm. So. it's I think it's always stupid. good for the, the dad to have a very different set of rules than the mom. Yeah. That way, the kids don't know what the hell's safe yeah. to say when. Yeah. You know, My mom would she'd say, "Here's twelve yeah. curse words. Try these out." <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, and then your dad would be were... around the corner with a belt, yeah, <laughs> waiting <laughs> for any yeah. yeah, fucking entrapment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did she teach you? Yeah. <laughs> no, but both my parents were pretty like. Uh, I didn't have like strict parents by any means, but also you know, it wasn't like do whatever you want. But like, I never had like. Con- like restrictions on what I could watch or anything. It was more like self, like, this is too scary. I'm not going to watch this. Or like, I, I don't want to see a guy get hit by, you know, while he's riding a bike. Like I just didn't, you know, I didn't watch a lot of live lake or anything. What about, what about you, Brian? Did you, uh, 
Ryan definitely watched a lot of weird shit. Your, did your mom reign, ever free reign, baby? <laughs> Do you remember your first like rated R movie or anything? Yeah, what? I don't know. First rated R movie? Yeah. I think mine was Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Pro- it might it might have been like American Pie or something. Oh. <laughs> Cuz I knew cuz I had people that were older, way older than me. Like my friend had an older brother and obviously yeah. like when he was a teenager or whatever, it's like American Pie is the shit. So yeah. Definitely saw titties. Hey, little boy, check this earlier. out. Yeah. yeah, way earlier than I was supposed yeah, to. I'm, try, I'm trying to like, think, uh, like, you know, what are those grounds? movies of youth uh, for your age group, Cody? Like, what was, were you seeing, like, Gone with Animal the wind. House? Like, first, like, <laughs> yeah, with the wind. Casablanca? Oh, the first, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll be Probably frank with you, I don't give a damn. Time, <laughs> uh, fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or, like, uh, maybe Porky's. Oh, I remember Porky's classic, yeah. It scared me the most was uh it's, it was probably the, I remember watching The Exorcist that was oh. pretty spooky. The oh, Shining, yeah. The Exorcist yeah. holds up insanely well. That is still a horrifying. Yeah, notice movie. The Shining. I mean, those are both. Yeah. It's like you didn't realize you had a timeless classic on your hands when you watch <laughs> that scary movie. That's gonna yeah. some like lasting fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was the local connection too. You know, because the filming oh. outside the Timberline Lodge. You know, I grew up. I used to teach snowboarding up there. Oh, I grew up filming up there. Yeah, really? that, yeah. Huh. That's that's much worse. I'll be like, that's in another place. That's you know, that's that far wasn't away. Filmed, it wasn't filmed inside. They just shot it from the outside. Many uh, movies don't take place in Indiana, so I never. <laughs> this is safe. It's wait, safe oh here. wait. So the the actual like lodge that was the the outside building was in your neck of the woods. Yeah, it's up in uh, on Mount Hood, just east of Portland. Oh, huh. cool. Yeah, I've I've always watched that movie, and and I thought like. The inside proportions do not match up with the outside image because it just yeah. seems like it's kind of a, you know, like it looks like a big place, but then they show the inside and it's just massive in the movie. Yeah. It's way bigger yeah. than the, the way thing bigger. looks like. Yeah, um, way bigger. That's the scariest part. <laughs> well, it's, I, I go, watched like a behind the scenes like documentary of it. They actually had walls that moved on wheels. Oh. And so that when you're, they're doing those continuous shots, where they, they follow Jack Nicholson as he's making his way to the guy that tells him about the job and goes like, hey, you're not going to kill yeah. your family with an axe, are you? That whole scene, they actually move walls and stuff so that it seems like it's an impossible layout, if that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. Mm. And Because uh, I think when you're following them, they do four left turns, and then they enter an office that has a window, and like... If you're oh. like spatial awareness wise, architects are watching that. Like this doesn't yeah, have freaking out. Yeah, yeah. That was you're a, a Kubrick, you're, you're a Kubrick fan, right, Sam? Oh yeah, yeah, I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he did the same thing in um, uh, Clockwork Orange, like the 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 scene where he's he then like after his treatment, he goes back to the old guy's house where he like murdered his wife and stuff. Yeah. yeah, like every time they flip back between the two guys, they've moved around, like rearranged all the stuff on the on the dinner table, so it just seems like I don't know disjointed. Yeah. But it just seems like a really shitty continuity error. I don't feel like that's a that's not like Kubrick's genius shining through it's, or anything. He's like, let's move around the plates in between it's, takes. It's <laughs> Kubrick fucking with actors and yeah. getting in their head. The best part of The Shining is is him trolling. Um, uh, what's his name? That what's the guy that wrote the book? Stephen Stephen King. Okay. Stephen King. Oh yeah, <laughs> with the Volkswagen and all that. Oh, wait. that's the director one. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's helping. with the Volkswagen? What's that? He, he changed the color just intentionally to it, it, irritate him. Oh really? That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah, I get Very the feeling honestly that Kubrick wasn't even a big fan of the book. No, he wasn't. Uh, yeah, I I think he was like, I'm going to use this as a basis to make a damn good movie. But yeah, I'm he not did. A fan it, of the book. He, he did it just. Yeah, he did it. Just put it in his face. Like, I'll. Yeah, thanks for the book, but I'm. I'm. This is my movie. Yeah, <laughs> book then, nerd. Yeah. And Stephen <laughs> King went out of his way to like make another version of The Shining, and it has the worst child actor I've ever seen in it. And I've he, never seen that. You need to watch it because it's it's actually well, atrocious. Stephen King didn't direct it, right? I think he had a hand in it, or either that, or he did like executive. Are you talking about the one with you and McGregor, the like sequel? No, 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 no. Oh, this okay. this one's like a maybe made for TV type thing in the nineties, maybe later. I can't on, imagine so. that'd be worse yeah. than the, the classic. <laughs> King acts like it's it did the book justice. He's like, "This no. is it, man. This is the perfect rendition adaptation of my book," and it's a 
horrible Sorry. film. Yeah, it's really oh. bad. But what's actually, the, what's, what's slept the on. There's. I'm what? sorry, Cody. Hold on a second. The um, oh. the Stephen. It's Stephen King related. I'm sorry. There is a mini series from the early '90s of Stephen King's The Stand, which was like an awesome post-apocalyptic book, and it's. I think it's like ten episodes or something like that, and it rocks. It's God. actually really good. Nobody talks about it. To, I think to, it's awesome. To one off once more. Is, it's a Stephen King book movie, right? The The Fog or the Mist or whatever. That was another like early kid movie I watched that really fucked with me. The ending, yeah. Uh, if you know what uh, I'm talking about, where the most they, traumatic ending, yeah, and they all kill yeah. themselves and then the military shows up. Because like, I I feel like I'd mainly watched like happy ending movies until then. I'm like, Jesus Christ, like, yeah. what is it? Like, I, I you know, it's like I want the heroes to it's win. Be a dream. Yeah, it, that was that was kind of a nightmare. That that similar like uh, distaste though between director and author happens a lot. Like all the what Alan Moore stuff, like Watchmen or Viver Viver Vendetta, like they make this stuff, and then when the movie's made, they're like, "This isn't what I want." But I mean, they signed away the rights. Like you kind of lose yeah. a bit Just of take the yeah. check and shut yeah, up. Yeah, and it's like a lot of them they come it. back afterwards and are like, "This is not mm. what I envisioned." Like, well, you yeah. didn't make the movie, so it's you know. I, I would be pissed too, but it's like at a point you sign away the rights. You kind of, especially when it's like the third movie it's happened or like third series, it's like, you know what's going to happen, dude. Like you know, known. Yeah. it's not going to be the the graphic novel Watchmen or whatever. Like, I don't know. Oh. Anyways, we cut you off there for a second, Cody. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just, what, what movies messed you up? But you watch earlier yeah. that still haunts you to this day. You have any the of those? Fog. The fog ending of the fog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that. What, what, is it bad? The the ending. It's all Sam. Sorry, you can tell. Oh no, I was gonna say the most horrific part of it is uh, the premise is a fog rolls in, and all of a sudden there's like monsters Creatures. in. Yeah. yeah, there's like create like tentacles will come out of the fog and drag people away and stuff. There's like a bunch of different like monsters in it, but the real part that always disturbed me as a kid was they all uh, all these survivors pack into like basically a convenience store or a grocery store and very quickly in the span of like 6 hours <laughs> like a cult forms and they start sacrificing people to the monsters <laughs> and I'm like See, that, that it, wasn't the part that bothered me it's the ending it's really uh, it's a, the ending at, yeah. at, I was just very, like dude like you know you actually don't want to spoil damn. it for you really I don't want to spoil yeah. the ending but you said the ending. You said the ending, and there's you literally no conceivable way Cody's gonna watch it. I just feel I like that is the not his in its entirety. Like you don't know exact. I said it was. It bugged me that I, I didn't say no. what happened. You said you literally said it. I, I don't remember that. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, a, I, I didn't seconds. describe. Uh, okay, yeah. well, the military rules, and I said that. But it's like, yeah, okay. At the end, they pack into a car, like two old people, the main guy and his son. And they they're trying to make it through the fog or whatever, and they I run out of gas or the car dies, and they have a revolver with three shots, and there's like four people, and like he kind of has like an agreement, with, like his kids asleep, and the old people like they like they decide who will be the one that's gonna shoot everyone else and be the 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 survivor, and because it's like it'd be better to just die to a bullet than these monsters killing you. And it ends up being the main guy, and he, like, kills his own son. He kills the two old people he's been close with. I don't know if they're, like, his parents. or I don't think so. And then he doesn't have a bullet for himself, and he's, like, crying and screaming. And then right as he does that, like, a minute later, the military rolls in full force and is, like, beating back the monsters, and, like, they've won the day. Yeah, dispersing like the just, fog and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. it's, like, just <laughs> it's the fan like, Oh, that's grim. Yeah, yeah. it's very grim, and it, it definitely stuck Ugh. with me of, like, gee, uh, that, that blows. No, he definitely took grim. it out. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a... I wouldn't want to be that guy. I'd rather be the kid. Actually, yeah, you know awful. what movie kind of messed me up as a kid that... This kind of it's not really your your area, but it's very um it's very like uh alpine I don't know. It's uh, Are you talking wilderness. About the no, it's this movie called um The Edge and it has Anthony Hopkins in it and he's like a billionaire and he's up I've in seen that. You've yeah. seen that movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know they're, what you're saying. They're flying in the airplane and they run into like a flock of geese or something and the propeller chops up all the, the geese yeah. and then goes through the windshield and they crash the airplane and then they're being hunted by a giant like Kodiak bear or something. Yeah. And I yeah. 
I mean, I uh, there's alligators and snakes and spiders and stuff here, but like bear is a, a whole. Have you ever been like face to face with a bear or something, like or like a, a yeah, oh lion? yeah, I I, I, sh- I shot one. So you about, about bear like, hunting 10, earlier, ten twenty feet away. Jesus, it could do you think you could have gone like ah and scared him off, or was he was he going in oh. for the kill? No, I had I was uh, I was uh, lying prone. I just shot a deer. And the rifle report spooked it out of a thicket that was right behind me. So I had my, I was looking through yeah. an optic. It was at 10 power because it was a long, about a 400 yard shot at the deer. So I'd shot the deer and then I heard something behind me. I looked over my shoulder and that bear was coming towards me. Cause you, if you just hear one shot, you can't range it. You need to hear two or three. Yeah. And so it spooked him out and I turned around over my back and the optic was so high powered at that range that I couldn't, couldn't differentiate. So I just saw green, brown, green, and I went to the brown and pulled the trigger and I'd shot him right, maybe 10 feet away, right in the chest. Jesus. Did you, you, you send that bad boy off to get processed? Do you get that skin? Yeah. I did it myself. Yeah. Caped it and mounted it. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, what was, you said caped it? What does that mean? Yeah. Oh, so I mean, you he, made yeah, a cape a, like the bear head well, and then a cape. It, a, it's Skyrim. a big bear. So if you're going to have a bear head taxidermy, it's the only thing I ever had taxidermy because it was a, it was a trophy size. Uh, usually when you're butchering, you cut the throat out, but uh-huh. you don't cut the throat when you want to mount them because they had the taxidermist can't fix that seam. So uh-huh. caping it is cutting it on the back and leaving basically a cape of fur and hide uh-huh. so that they can stretch it over Man. a mount. Damn. That's cool. I would, but I would have made some bear. clothing with like the fur or something like, so like kill a second bear and like have a blanket. For you, a king butch- size butchering bed, a bear you know? is nasty. Yes. Ugh. Did you wait? So, did you keep some claws? You got the claws. I, yeah, I have. I have all that stuff. So something really bad happened when I had to butcher that. So I shot it. Now, when you shoot something like that, it doesn't immediately die typically, unless you get it right in the heart or something. So it it spun around and ran back into the thicket that it came out of. So I was really excited. I just shot this deer. I shot the bear. All this took place in just a few seconds. I knew better than to run in there. Usually you sit and you wait for about an hour, let it bleed out and die. And then you go in there. You never want to chase a wounded bear, obviously, into a thicket. So I went in there too quick and I was following the blood, following the blood. You get real tunnel vision when you're following a blood trail. And I walked right up on it and it reared up on its hind legs and roared. And I just about wet my pants. It was so scary. I just turned around and ran out. And I got my buddies, and we went back in an hour later, you know, with our rifles. And when we found it, it was dead. Oh, jeez. That's, uh, that's pretty badass, though. <laughs> I wouldn't want, nice, I wouldn't want to kill a, a bat. Yeah. That's I don't think you could kill a bear with a bat. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't, Sam I, thinks you could kill a black bear. No, I a said bat. a black bear. A black <laughs> yeah. bear is, like, I'm assuming this I is, still, like, Revenant-style yeah. giant grizzly bear or something, right? What I was still it? think a black bear could kick your ass. Are you I, kidding? Have you I seen one of those things? They're yeah. like big dogs. They look scared of everything. They're so like, much stronger than a dog, though. Yeah, well, you might be able to kill a, bear, quick. a black, black bear with a bat. Is it an aluminum Sam, bat Sam or a wood bat? It's aluminum. Aluminum, yeah. yeah. Aluminum. yeah. It's aluminum bat. Yeah, next time you guys do one of those, you got to let me in on it. Yeah, that yeah. you would have good insight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very yeah. good insight. Maybe, maybe you said the bat, we should try Sam's twenty-two. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I think we should do the bat time. because I want to get it taxidermied, and I feel like a taxidermist would love a complete pelt a like bludgeoned. that. Bludgeoned. Yeah, bludgeoned pelt. No <laughs> nicks, no, no bullet holes to, to sew up or anything. Just a couple of gut shots. Do you know how they clean all of the, the flesh and sinew and brain out of the... Out of the uh, animals for taxidermy, they like power. They put a power sprayer up its nose and shoot it out its ass. No, they, they use these. I don't know if they're maggots or something, but there's a dude down the road that does it, and he's got a whole big vat of them, oh. and he puts all the bones and everything in there, and they just eat it all away after a few days. That's crazy. Yeah, my father-in-law takes a deer head and then he puts it in a giant ant pile, and then he covers it with a bucket, and he he keeps like asking me, he's like, why don't you want the kids running around in the front yard? I'm like, you have a <laughs> severed fucking head sitting in an ant pile. That's why like, fire I ant, probably. yeah. And it's like one, the ants are dangerous and riled up. And two, like if that's <laughs> they just tasted flesh, <laughs> it's like a nightmare for a child to pull up a bucket, you know, on accident. Yeah. And you see like a severed head under there. <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> your head in a million fire. Ants. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Help. Yeah. <laughs> but that's oh. great. That's that is quite badass, though. Yeah, it is. You know, kind of. Oh. I think that's the only type of ammo I'd have taxidermy. Even though I have like these horns, and I do have a taxidermy <laughs> boar head. You know, I just bought on like an auction site. Like, if I killed an animal in a survival scenario, then I'd be like, okay, I don't feel any yeah. guilt about this. I would get this, uh, you know, trophied up. Well, I feel like, like I, I don't want to like kill anything, but if if I had to, like, let's say a bear runs up on me, and then yeah, I get bat. It, and I kill it with, like, a cool, <laughs> uh, you know, with my cool rifle Ninja or whatever. Star. Yeah, if I sure yeah. can, right in the, right in the eye. Um, I'm definitely going to use every bit of it, you know, I'd, I'd make like armor out of its bones. Yeah. And, like, you wouldn't even need the maggots. You'd just be in there. Yeah. Is bear edible? Is it? It is. It's just like pork. It's, you know, it's one of the creepiest things, Sam, when you butcher a bear, let's say you, you butcher it. When you butcher meat, usually you hang it up and let it kind of cure. It's cold at night and it'll freeze. It's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. It looks just like a human. When it's really? all butchered and, and hanging uh, up, yeah, it, it, it looks yeah. exactly like a human. But it's it's very much like pork. They're related to pigs, so it's really greasy. Oh. It's it's not very good meat. Oh, it isn't. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Okay. I always thought it's weird that like people eat alligator tail here, but you never see like other parts of alligator. So I have a feeling they just lop oh, off the tail oh, and then chuck the rest in a garbage can or something. Well, the, the <laughs> one they chop off the head and make it a souvenir at a gas station down there. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. yeah they Put chop off the marbles head. in its eyes. And, then, <laughs> and they all, the neck is always black. I don't know. They, they just like yeah. torch it with a propane torch or something. <laughs> the Cauterize the wound and then yeah. put the body back and regrows a head like a reptile. Yeah. I had I had one of those in my room growing up. I so did my brother. Too, yeah. yeah, Everybody's got a was cool. alligator head. Yeah. Classic Florida uh, kid. Classic, yeah. Anyways, yeah, you want to... You know what I was thinking about earlier, actually, before we wrap this up? You know, um, have you seen that AI... Like, you can train AI to sound like people now? Yeah. That's how they oh, did... Have like, you, oh, wait, have you seen how they've done uh, with Wubby's entire crew? Yeah, they... Oh have you seen, uh, like, on any of their channels now, you can donate bits and make your... Uh, what you say sound like peanut or carlos or wubby or something it's really cool yeah I mean, it's kind of frightening but it's cool like you can you know you can make peanuts say whatever you want well i was gonna say wrangle uh, wrangler star here has so many videos where oh, it's yeah. just him talking without any music in the background oh, and i yeah. feel like you could train an ai to sound just like cody in a minute and then you can make any sort of YouTube when did short. This first name basis happen. Was I in the bathroom or something? You've been saying refused, Cody a lot. I refuse to call you Wrangler Star. I'm sorry. It's such a weird, <laughs> like, conversational name to say back yeah. and forth. And he signed his email, Cody. So, boom. Actually, Until, he like, signed people it. People know C. your name's Cody. Cody? Like, is that a com? Is that like a. He has yeah, got the little nameplate in, in the thing, doesn't he? Uh, oh, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Wrangler uh, Star. I don't even know, you do, like, I don't yeah. know, like, dox him or something. Oh no, I I I've always used my name. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. I've, I'm I not I was on YouTube before it became dangerous. Oh, that's smart. Oh, really? I was thinking about kind of dropping the veil and using my full name. Is that you said that's dangerous? Hmm. Oh, I don't I don't know if it's dangerous. I don't know if it really matters. It's uh it would definitely be freeing to be able to use the whole name, but I can't go by yeah. my name's Sam because Sam, so it's like it's just a unlucky strike right there, so yeah, Poob will do. We'll it's do only in conversation. <laughs> Wait, Poob's at least a yeah. good name. Like mine's yeah, lame. It's, it's like dirt grub <laughs> name. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, yours is just your name. Like you, no Sam, one calls yeah, you well, General. No, it's like, General Sam. Yeah, like no that's obviously that, something though. I made when I was like ten. Like but it's they, not people just know to is, say though. like it's Sam, not weird yeah. to say Sam if your name is General Sam. My name was Papa Sam. People would call me Sam. But well, call have you had? Have you guys had any any weird? subscriber or fan encounters out in public yeah all mine are great i've had really? a couple of weird ones but you know a couple just, i thought you said like the one i mean you know what you, there yeah. have been i've i'll say there's been more better than not I've, I've definitely met some cool guys where they're like hey i like the podcast or i like the i had a die laughter fan for our D D podcast Whoa. like I could tell there was something like I was at the bar ordering and he was right next to me. He kept in my peripherals. I'm like, this guy keeps staring at me. And then when I like signed off, I'm like kind of covered my credit card. I'm like, I don't want this guy to see my full name or anything <laughs> yeah. just in case. 
And then when I was about yeah. to leave, he's like, oh, my God, are you poob? Like, I'm a big fan of that, blah, blah, blah. But normally it's like Sam fans. So, you know, there are a lot of cool guys, actually. So I'm, I won't say anything bad about them. But, yes, I've had a weird or yeah, I've had two some weird ones. Yeah. 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 I'm like, hey, man, back up. Yeah. Back up, okay? You don't want to get this. I and think a lot of it is is like if you were in their situation, what the hell would you say? You know, you just I'd go like, like, you're that guy I recognize. And then no, you realize dude, there's no. It's a more, I mean, I've seen people that I, I guess, not recognize from YouTube or anything, but. You know, when I met Common, really great rapper, I was cool. I was chill. Hey, what's up? How's it going? You know, you, you, there's a there's a, a nice, I mean, as I've seen it, like some people interact with you and they're like, hey, I recognize you. Like, and I say, you know, treat you like a person, like it's totally fine. But it's like when people use weird internet humor in person, for me, it's just weird. Because it's uh, like, I don't really do act that. like that when I'm like at a bar. But uh, I don't know. It's always nice, you know, it's kind of like a, uh, it's like an ego boost or something. It's like, a, oh, cool. I've always like, it is had, a little, I have them It is a little down. disconcerting sometimes when you, w w like you said, there's someone looking at you and you're wondering, you know, is it, they're looking at me because yeah. I look weird or do they, you yeah. know, what, what is it? You're, you start to get a little bit paranoid. Yeah, you got a staring <laughs> problem. Yeah. 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 You're over there yeah. like grabbing your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You uh, do, you, do you stay strapped because of the the subscribers or do you stay strapped because of the the general vibe of your area no i i always have i i got my concealed carry when i was 18 as soon as i could and i've, I've always carried really but what yeah. was your go-to back in the day before now i'm sure it's something with like a, a holographic site and like i carried a shit. i carried a beretta 92 that was the first one i bought classic uh, yeah. and then i've carried uh glock 19s and glock 26s ever since so i usually carry a glock 26 or a 19x oh my but i don't have a holographic sight i just have irons <laughs> oh yeah my dad carries a derringer with no trigger guard and it's in a uh, fanny pack and then there's a just, horse gun yeah <laughs> it's in a fanny pack and then the fanny pack's just full of bullets and so he just <laughs> he just pulls out the derringer <laughs> cracks it open throws a bullet in there and then just no it, trigger guard no trigger guard what do you mean loose what yeah just loose oh, in a big God. fucking sack full of bullets yeah, that's dude. old school, man. Crazy old school. in uh, yeah. Indiana now. You don't even have to have concealed fuck? carry permit. You'd have no permits to no permits. Just carry. Yeah, that's no awesome. They should do that carry. with cars too. You yeah. should just be able to get in a car and just drive. Oh yeah, I've been noticing a lot drive more. Away. Just like yeah. go to the store, everyone's like, got a gun. I'm like, I'm unprepared. I brought, <laughs> I brought, I brought some fists to this fight. Okay. <laughs> I've noticed myself being a lot more. Uh, you know, if someone cuts me off. I'm, I'm not gonna honk. Yeah. We're cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Not. Yeah, you're fine. Cut me off, dude. Live and let yeah. live, brother. Break, break check equalizer me. guns. Yeah. Everybody's got them. Yeah. Everybody's real me. polite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah, there's still a lot of. Uh, there's some people that are like, you know, like try me. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> yeah. they're looking for some like. For I would Lift assume the that there's a lot of that now, where it's like I don't need a goddamn permit to have it's, this. Like. I yeah. can't wait. It to was use already kind of like that yeah. here. So now it's just like even more yeah. like a little free reign. But mm -hmm. uh, I always carry a couple, you know, I like, uh, you know, yeah, I got my knuckle dusters with knives on the end. I got my bear claws or whatever. More into trinket weapons and stuff. Do you, do you think like, do you think like that mace stuff yeah. even works? Yeah. That, have you been it's fucking have you been sprayed with it? Yeah. Anyone no. I've ever heard that's been even if you're in the same room as it, it's like oh, you know really? the effect it has. Yeah, I, I feel oh, like yeah, it works. Yeah. I feel like there's a a huge difference between like legit like mace and and what most women have like the I little saw pepper a video spray the bottle. other day of a woman pulling out pepper spray bottle she was being chased by a guy and she sprayed him with it and he immediately was like oh fuck like it, <laughs> yeah you uh, can't get what the cop what the cops have is is hot is more powerful than than the what the women pack around but even that stuff's pretty horrible yeah i i feel like there's definitely like different grades of it like some people like there's some that you just like spray people and they're like i'm irritated and then i've definitely seen the ones that the cops spray people and they're just like I'm dropping what I'm doing and crying for the next yeah. three hours. Yeah. My dad just go talked. get one of those big bear canisters. That'll get yeah, it. Done. Bear mace. Yeah, yeah if it's good enough for a bear, it's good oh, enough yeah. for a, yeah. for a child. You know, or yeah, anyone yeah. coming too close. <laughs> my my yeah, dad. I've oh. got a. I, I have a friend who uh, got in a standoff with a. We have 
really bad mountain lion problems out here. Oh. They're pretty big. They're like, a, imagine a, like a really angry cat that's a wild and 150, 160 pounds. Scary. And he had, he had some of that, he had mace and a revolver in his backpack. And he had his little girl with him. I think she was about eight or nine. And this cougar was trying was trying to get to this girl and her father was keeping it in the back and he's trying to get her to get the gun out of the backpack while he's fending off this this mountain lion and she's screaming and crying hysterical finally she got a mace can out and the the thing lunged at him and he pressed it and it was so old it didn't have any pressure left in it and a little drop came out and he said but it was so close it dropped right on the thing's nose and it turned and that was it ran off Damn. I have three friends that have that, that have been attacked by those things. They had to fight for their lives. Damn, I've, I've seen those videos where people dying. like uh, they'll be walking on a trail and all of a sudden they see a, a baby mountain lion and they're like, "Oh fuck!" Like uh, mama's <laughs> yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. around here. Well, bear yeah. is worse. A cub. Yeah. Yeah, and they just no. start, and the cubs are like curious, so they're coming up to them, and they're like, "Get back, like back!" And then yeah. it's like you have to slowly back <laughs> up yeah. away. You from see, yeah, when you see one of those, you need to run. Yeah. yeah. Wait, know. so yeah, my- aren't aren't mountain lions the ones that like at night they just sound like a woman screaming? They do. Oh, yeah, they that's do. that's terrifying. Yeah, and they uh, what they that's, they hunt at night, so they'll uh, they'll they'll find a log that has fallen across a trail. And then they'll sit up there and prowl and wait. And as soon as something comes through, game or human, whatever, and they jump on your back and bite you on your neck. Oh, That's why I wear a mask on the back of my head. So yeah, it always yeah. looks like I'm looking older. <laughs> I, I've heard stories like it. people, <laughs> people yeah. in like uh, India and stuff where like tigers attack. They'll do that. They'll wear like false faces on their back when they're working in fields so that like big cats don't realize that they're you know looking forward you can't see him i never heard that yeah that's interesting yeah. Uh-huh. that's awesome yeah. oh anyways you want to you want to call it here two 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 hours yeah, that was, yeah. that was a great episode yeah, yeah it's good stuff thank you for being on cody yeah thank yeah. you guys i sure appreciate yeah. it i i uh i was really looking forward to it i i appreciate the opportunity yeah, You're a great awesome, guest man. yeah really yeah good. yeah you don't I, do I, a lot I, of podcasts do you i've only done one Really? Who was it? Yeah. This one. Uh, it's somebody of no, no, no. It's just I, I don't even remember his name. <laughs> wow. Ouch. He's probably that's going to be us in a year or two cry, when he's yeah. on his third <laughs> podcast. <laughs> no, yeah, I've been on yeah. two. <laughs> but I, I really want, remember those other I really guys. want to be on the on the dip shit do, uh, do, do uh, can I kill an animal with a bat? Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Next uh, time we when we get into uh, can I kill it with like uh, brass knuckles? Yeah. Have yeah, you on brass knuckles. Yeah, brass knuckles with spikes or just yeah. regular old school ones? Bear claws with grizzly bear claws, hot glued. Oh. To the- with poison on them, or yeah, yeah. those yeah, barbecue the, claws well, no, that they used to shred with me. a with a drip of uh, uh, bear mace, bear mace on each on one. Yeah, each yeah. One, yeah. How about Ed- Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, a, that's another great weapon right there. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I, I think I could take on a mountain lion with the Edward. If one drop, if you were bear Edward, ma- no, one drop of always... bear mace makes a, a a mountain lion turn tail, then I guarantee you a little a little nose stab with the the hand scissors. Yeah, you saw what he did with those topiary trees. Uh huh. <laughs> and that water bed, he barely touched it. Yeah, sprung yeah. a leak. <laughs> that would be that mountain lion, dude. That'd be That'd my come belly. from all angles. My belly after a couple beers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Looney Tunes style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> plug him, plug him, plug me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thanks are for you coming. Guys gonna do, are you guys going to do another camping trip? I hope uh, so. It was in the plans, but then um, uh, Bizzle, like one of the main guys on that trip, uh, they found like a dead body behind his house, and then uh, it, he ended up having to move or whatever because of it. And, yeah, and so then they... Um, He's been just like moving around trying to get his his roots resettled, so it wasn't a great time to go hiking. Um, yeah. Definitely not like the immediate future, July. but I told I him definitely it was a bad would... time to kill someone and hide him behind your house. That's why I told him. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah, well, that really rude. happened. Yeah, he, yeah. He was like, like living a... at a place, and they like the it was like one of those San Diego. It was like a house where they had cut it up and like turned it into basically like a tenement type building. You know, they're like cramming people in, and they moved in like some meth heads behind him and he was like, Oh, this is bad news. He's like weird meth head guys moved in. And then very shortly afterwards, they find like a body back there. And, uh, 
I don't know. It was just weird. And everybody kind of got forced out of there. And he's like, I have nothing to do with it. I'm not sure if the two things are intertwined, yeah. but it seemed like everything bad happened there at once. Time and to so, go. Yeah, it's time to go. Yeah, so he had to go get a new well, place. It's a lot better now. I think now a couple of days later, a guy a guy showed up at his house bloody, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, keep him busy. He was, like, covered in blood. He's like, cops. someone jump me. And yeah. they were like, what the hell? Like, yeah. Well, yeah, all right, wait over there next to the trash bags <laughs> yeah. and shit. Like, you stay here. We're the calling cops. the cops. So they call the cops. They're like, we think this guy might have something to do with that dead body. <laughs> 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 yeah, San Diego is wild, apparently. So, I, I think it's beautiful, but... Yeah. Yeah. But now he has an awesome place, and yeah. um, definitely now that he's hiking, uh, now that he's moved in, yeah, yeah. we'll go hiking heard of again. It? We'll go Playboy Mansion. Yeah. We'll go somewhere cool. Um, what's I, cooler? What's cooler I've been than pitching, anywhere? Uh, anywhere is fucking I, I, cooler. Yeah. Every state in the union is cooler than I. That we go to an all-inclusive <laughs> resort on a tropical island, and we grab some, you know, drinks, and we just kind of Try meander. We walk island. the circle around, <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, some that's rough. Really magic, and you could just wander out into like into the jungle, right, right next to the all-inclusive. You could make yeah. it look good. Yeah, yeah. We, we could definitely frame yeah. those shots. You know, right behind yeah. us, it's like the, the great twenty minutes in the jungle. Area. It's like the Great Pyramids, you know. You see yeah, them from one angle. You look at it. We say, "Hey guys, we're foraging." You know, we have the coconut, the classic coconut with fruit sticking out <laughs> yeah, of it, a big straw on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Umbrella. Yeah. yeah, Brian's we making the water, umbrellas. Water swimming in the pool as you're sitting yeah. there. Yeah. There's rum in this. My God, I, I yeah. Uh, really lucked out. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, loving that. Nice to meet you all. Nice to yeah, meet you, you Brian. Too. And thank you, Sam. Yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, nice meeting you, man. Nice time. Yeah. All right.